Hello, friends. Welcome in. Happy Tuesday. Happy time zone. Happy Valentine's Day almost. It's tomorrow, but every day is, I like that. Every day is Valentine's Day. Every day is filled with love in our corner of the internet. So I'm excited today to be playing Core Island. It's been, it's been a minute. It's been a couple weeks. So I'm really excited to dive back in. We're going to be hoping to find true love for Valentine's Day. Um, but definitely winning over a lot of the a lot of the NPCs. So I'm very excited. Maybe we'll get some cutscenes. Maybe we'll we'll <laughs> spill some tea. Maybe we'll have to wait and see. Um, thank you so much, everyone, for being here. Thank you so much to Kelly and Cisco for modding today. Appreciate you both. And um, thank you so much, Cozy as a mother, for joining the Gemstone family at the Emerald Tier. Emeralds in the chat. I saw another one earlier too. Let me scroll up. Let me scroll up. Kochabi, thank you so much as well for joining at Emerald. You guys, both of you, thank you so much. Enjoy all the extra content you've unlocked. There's a lot of it, so you might be binging for a while. Um, enjoy, and thank you so, so much for the extra support. Seriously, I appreciate it so much. Uh, lots of love to you both. Lots of love to everyone here. I'm so hyped, you guys. Um, I gotta say hi to everyone. We have the lovely coral heart emote today along with all of our favorite coral island uh, emotes as well so i hope you enjoy using those uh but let me definitely say hi to you guys i yes ah oh, i'm excited i'm i <laughs> i'm excited to give out gifts and stuff to the characters we also have the tree planting festival we have a lot going on today so buckle up get your get your snacks get your drinks uh, Raw, welcome in. Faye, hello. Terry, hello. Stephanie and Kelly. Zoe. Uh, Cyberfrogs and Lynn. Nice to see you. Johnny. Uh, Cherry. Belinda. Who else? Arnica. Sienna. Phoebe. River. Briosana. Danielle. Wyvernus. Claus. Uh, Dragon Fairy. Sharker. My goodness. Hi, friends. Faviola. Uh, Harmly, Cecilia, it's me, Beth, Rebecca, Kidada, uh, Becca, Madison. Who else? I want. I don't want to miss anyone. Mayra, hi. Uh, Shannon, did I say hi to you? I got. It. I'm. If I didn't, hi. <laughs> uh, Zoe, Danny, it's your boy. Hello, uh, Brooklyn. Melanie, Madison, there's so many of you in chat. Hello, hello. And some familiar faces I haven't seen in a minute. I hope it's because of the new the new schedule. Christina, welcome in as well. Sarah, uh, Melek, Amy, I'm determined. Ruby, Hidden Moonstone, Liz, Lay, Terry, Jazzy Cat, I've got my I've got my Hawkeye today, you guys. I'm trying to <laughs> catch all the names. Brooklyn, Megan, uh, Cozy, of course. Hi. Thank you again so much for that extra support. I really appreciate it. Uh, Joanne, Gwen, I think I caught most of you amongst all the emotes. Of course, always say hi again if you if I missed you. Christopher, welcome in, welcome in. Okay, so before we get into the gameplay, I have two things. The first thing is that next Tuesday on the 20th, this is important, <laughs> next Tuesday is my three year channel anniversary. So we're definitely gonna be celebrating that together on Tuesday. Um, and I have some exciting special things planned uh, to, to share that day. So <laughs> definitely mark your calendars, uh, some new things coming. I'm very, very excited, a little bit nervous because, you know, I don't know, I'm a little bit shy about some things, but I'm really excited. So I can't believe it's been three years, right? Isn't that crazy? So yeah, channel anniversary next Tuesday. I uh, will be streaming. I hope you can be there. You'll want to be there. Danny, thank you so much for the, the five. Happy Valentine's Day, Sarah, sending all the love. Let me heart it because I can do that. Thank you so much, Danny. Let's get some hearts in the chat for Danny as well. Please and thank you. Uh, happy Valentine's Day to you as well. That's so sweet of you. It's a huge milestone, isn't it? Isn't that crazy? It's uh, the first year was mostly videos, and then I started into streaming. I think about a year after. So yeah, it's it's the time has flown by, but three years is lucky number three, right? So I'm really excited about that, <laughs> and I'm excited to celebrate with you guys and show you guys something new. 
that I'm just so excited for. So yes, welcome in friends. The other thing is just that today I'm gonna be giving out a lot of gifts to the characters. And one of my favorite things about Coral Island is learning what the characters love and what they hate and all that stuff. So I'm just gonna kindly ask that if I'm gifting things, uh, please no spoilers for that because I want to it's so much fun for me to like even if I get bad reactions That's part of the fun. So I just want to make a little note about that at the beginning of stream um, In terms of gifting because it will be heavy on the gifts today So I appreciate that you guys in advance that I'm gonna if I if I fumble If I stumble in front of my crush, that's okay. Let me let me okay <laughs> Orchid J welcome in Gwen. Hello velvet uh, Welcome in friends. It's so nice to see you all and thank you guys for all the hype on the channel anniversary. It's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. So I'm excited to to see you guys then. Uh, Orchid, hey. One eye garden gnome. Hello, hello. All right. So we're gonna hop into the gameplay now. Your channel will be getting ready to start preschool. That's so cute. I love that. I love that. I love that. Okay. We're here. I'm wearing a cute fit to you guys. And we're in a cute fit. We're gonna get the Coral Island soundtrack going too. Topaz, good morning. Okay. We're here. I've got tons of gifts <laughs> ready to go. It was basically, we did like a cooking stream a little while back. And so it's basically everything I cooked or tried to <laughs> um, is here to give out. And we're on my farm. Oh my gosh, I've kind of missed being on my farm, to be honest. So it's kind of nice to be back. Gelatin, welcome in. Keely, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, uh, more emeralds in the chat. Is it an emerald kind of day? I hope you enjoy the extra content you've unlocked. I really appreciate the support. There's a bunch of, you could, I think probably the cooking stream is <laughs> one that you can watch now. Um, there's a few of them, but some are more disastrous than others. Just gotta harvest my potatoes here. I think the other crops we're still waiting on. We're good, we're good. Keely, thank you so much. Welcome into the gemstone family. We have to still love our animals, which don't worry, it's under construction, okay? Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's under construction. They're fine. We gotta get do another design stream too. Phoebe, oh my gosh, what the three months? Can we get some cozy quartz in the chat for Phoebe? Please and thank you. Hi, Sarah, I'm so lucky to have you in this amazing community in my life. I'm so grateful for you. Thank you so much for everything. Wishing you all the great things in life because you deserve it so much. Lots of love. Oh my gosh, Phoebe. I could honestly say all the same right back at you. You also deserve all the good things. Thank you so much uh, for your support and incredibly kind message. That's so sweet of you. Uh, and lots of love to you too. Thank you so much, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Honestly, you guys, every single one of you, read that. Read that. If you're feeling a little, eh, read that. You all deserve great things. You guys are so sweet. See, the cows are happy. The cows are happy. They're... I, are they happy? <laughs> Let's get some chocolate cows in the chat. Are they happy or are they stuck? My friends. Boba. Do you miss your chicken i see i'm giving the the chickens their own town uh, yeah let's go for a little walk let's walk it off you guys let's walk it off come on you don't have to stay it looks like they want to go back inside but it's a sunny day i do have to we do have to fix this up but <laughs> see, the chickens are gonna get their own little town over here not just the chickens all the birds but they gotta get love too today you guys right even the sus chickens even the most sus of all the chickens. We have hash brown. We have tater tot. Uh, they're... I think they stopped plotting, though. I think they stopped plotting. I'm not sure. They were plotting something. They were very sus. Yeah, we should get some sus chickens in the chat, too. Because if we don't, if we don't hype them up just like we did the cows, listen, we don't know what they could do. They're pretty... <laughs> they, they have a lot of power. You just don't know it. They've got a lot going on in their little, little brains, so... <laughs> Like me staying in on a sunny day. I mean, that's... That's a vibe. <laughs> I, I I can relate to that for sure. Oh, it's sunny outside? Wow, how beautiful. I'm gonna play Coral Island. I'm gonna play Coral Island. Uh, Alchemy, welcome in. Oh, I'm stuck. Uh, by the way, you guys, in case you've missed some streams, look at this. Look at this. This is all documented on streams if you want to know how to build it. It's looking awesome. We just gotta, like, finish it. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm going little piece by piece of my farm. So now that animals have been loved, where? Oh, there you are, buddy. I say, where's my little Lembus? Quartz. Go ahead, Rome. Uh, don't let me stop you. So cute. Uh, we're gonna put away, honestly, okay, I'm feeling a little bit low maintenance today. We're just gonna sell this. We're just gonna sell it. I don't feel like processing it. Would I recommend you do that? No, I would recommend you process it. But today we're focused on like, you know, friends, love, all good things. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna skip it. Marcus, welcome in. Like how you plotted the flowers? I was inspired by uh, the stairway games like farms that they show on their trailers. Cause they always, ooh, we're, we're off to a good start. We're already getting a gift from Aaliyah. I'm probably honestly gonna give it right back. <laughs> I do have a stack of uh, muffins, I think in my pocket. Yeah, I have six now. So I'm probably just gonna give those out, which is good. Onyx, Onyx, thank you so much for gifting 20 memberships. Oh my goodness, please. Please check to see if you're gifted a membership. There's a high chance you were. Onyx, that's so sweet of you. We need gifts in the chat for Onyx. Thank you so, so much. Uh, you guys enjoy the emotes. You too can put gifts in the chat for Onyx right now if you wanted to, if you're here. If you're here, thank you so much, that's so sweet. Welcome in everyone to the Gemstone family. Yeah, this is this was inspired by the trailers. They always do like cute little like, not practical layouts. This is practical over here. This is not practical. I like the balance. Look at how cute. Okay, how cute is my little Lembus? I want I want them to come with me everywhere. Stayed very late at work today, so I'm just gonna lurk. Wanted to drop a small gift before I did. Onyx, I appreciate that so much. I appreciate that very, very much. Um, sending you love. Enjoy your lurk. Okay. So, we're in luck, you guys. Because it is a tree planting festival. Which means... That everyone, well not quite everyone, <laughs> will be there. So it should be, it should be like easier to give gifts. I didn't plan it this way, but it kind of worked out for us. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna go to the festival. And hold on, let me check one more time. I think I have what I need. I have lots of food, I have flowers. Yeah, I think I'm good with this. So this is year two of the tree planting festival. This is a four year festival, which is so cool. And I've never made it past year one. So I'm, cause I wanted to save it for the full release. So I just wanted, yeah, this is gonna, I'm excited to see how it develops over the four years. Uh, good morning, everyone. I wonder if it, any of this will be different. I'm guessing it's gonna be the same. Although I feel like there's more people here. I'm probably imagining that. I'm so happy to see you all here. I don't know, doesn't it feel like there's a better turnout this year? Especially all the new faces, right? Okay, wait, maybe, maybe there are new faces. Let's get going, folks. Favorite festival? I think it's, oh, it's really up there for me. If it's not my, my favorite, it's like definitely top three. Oh yeah, I'm wearing wings today too, no big deal. <laughs> I want it to fly. <laughs> I want it to fly. Is everyone ready? Off we go. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Look, I'm with Suki. We're, we're just hanging out. That's so cute. And the owls. I only wish we could replay these scenes because they're so like well done. There's definitely a better turnout. There's definitely a better turnout. There has to be. You can't tell. There, I remember there was like, yeah, there was like five of us last year. Yeah, and there's an extra boat. I agree. I think so. I think so. Here we are again in Purwo Woods. And would you look at all those trees? Look at- Oh my gosh, wait, there's trees! They've grown in! Truly a sight to behold. As for today's main event, it's a good thing there are more of us here this year. Okay, you guys, sometimes I don't know if I'm imagining things or not just because of how much I've played the game and how many, like, updates I've gone through since early access from the very beginning, right? Like, so much has happened. I'm like, am I imagining things? There's definitely more people here. So I love that the dialogue acknowledges that too. 
We'll have a larger area to cover this time around. I know after seeing the results from last year's planting, you're as fired up as I am. So let's get to it and plant some trees. I love this, you guys. We are loving nature today too. Like it's so important to love our planet as well as each other. So, oh my gosh, is that a koala? Wait, 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 is that a koala? I, there's, is that a koala? Did you see the koala? We might need more boats next year. I hope so, because this is a great turnout. Did you, I swear that was a koala. I want the koala to come back. I want to, where's the koala? I want to love the koala. I love the, the trees. We should look at the overhead too. This is so awesome. This is so awesome. I didn't even, I wasn't even expecting this to be super different. Look, oh, this looks so nice. So I'm guessing this year we're going to be working down here. Oh my gosh, this is such a great idea for a, a festival. The island's looking so good already. It is, isn't it? And I love that they have some of the pink trees too. Adding the pop of color. It's so lovely. Oh, this is awesome. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah, it's so gorgeous. Okay. Um, me just interrupting their conversation. Okay, I definitely want to give out the gifts. I have to go in order. I thought this is like so perfect because we everyone, maybe not everyone's here, but a lot of people are here. So I'm just going to start here and we're going to rotate around. We're going to make sure we see everyone. I will talk to them because that will give us extra points too. I think I'm going to give tea to Ben. Ben likes tea. Perfect timing. I was going to make one myself. Thanks for the green tea, my friend. All good vibes today. Wait, let's see if let's see if he still thinks. Yeah, he still thinks Jim is not good vibes. I was hoping that would change here too. He'd be like, oh, I, I've come around. I like Jim now. <laughs> okay, Millie. I think... I don't have anything specific for Millie, so I'm probably going to give her flowers... Anyone I didn't have like a gift that really spoke to me that either I know they love it or like I think they could. I'm just going to give them flowers today because I think that's a great gift. Uh, especially with Valentine's and the season of love. Uh, and welcome in everyone. Thank you so much for, for being here, hanging out. I hope this wasn't too much trouble. I accept. Thank you. Okay, so we've got that. I don't know. Let me see. Glad to see you here, Golden Moth. Such a good turnout today. I kind of want to talk to them to get extra points. <laughs> so I might do that. I do have uh, green smoothies. Yeah. For Alice and Suki. So we're going we're gonna to try to get hearts with a lot of the characters if we can, you guys. Because then once we go back in town, ideally we'll get some events. So we're, we're, we're trying to go for the hearts, but... I hope we have enough water for everyone. This is going to be a long day of laborious work, I can tell. Well, you can share the green smoothie. You could share the green smoothie with everyone. Maybe, maybe not. I don't think it's big enough to give to everyone. Okay, Eva. I think I brought... I brought cookies for Eva. It's perfect. Yes, I'm going to try and get hearts, whether they be friendship or romantic. Because, actually, Valentine's is friendship day in some places of the world, which I love. So, you know, we can do both. These these smell so good. Oh, I was at for a second I thought they were flowers. Yeah, they're cooking. They probably okay. That's good. You guys, we didn't burn them. Confirmed. We didn't burn the cookies. Confirmed. <laughs> and see, they ate all the cookies. I did this on purpose because I know that Eva and Alice end up eating all the cookies. So that's why I brought those for for them. Now, Yuri. Okay, I'm gonna give Yuri... I think I brought... Yeah, I brought muffins. So we can give Yuri muffins. Charles, please don't sneeze on the muffin. This is for Yuri, not you. Thank you, Sarah. I love it. Good. Oh my gosh. I just know Charles sneezed on that muffin. Gujo, thank you for the sub. Welcome in. My outfit matches the theme, and mine doesn't, but it matches the theme of the stream. Which, okay, ah, um, 
I guess I'll give you some cookies. Cookies? Nom nom nom. You rock. He definitely sneezed on the cookies too. <laughs> I'm not gonna give Charles flowers. I've done that before. On not Um I might have been on purpose. I was gonna say not on purpose, but I think it actually might have been on purpose. Has anyone in has anyone given <laughs> Be honest, you guys. You have to be honest here. Have you ever given Charles flowers on purpose? I need to know. We got a planet to save? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you have to be honest. You have to out yourself if you have. It's okay, I have. I'm pretty sure it was on purpose. Being up here makes me miss being in the ocean. The most mysterious. Ling, I still haven't been able to chat with Ling about this whole situation. You're two and she's still keeping secrets from me. Not yet, not on purpose. Gave him a forageable flower, but I didn't know yet. Yes. Okay, we have, I, I know at least some of you have. <laughs> Just to see what would happen. Even if it was for science, right? It didn't have to be like, oh, I want to trigger an allergic reaction. It was just like, oh, for science with this game, like what will happen? Yes, we got another heart. I'm doing well. I know this isn't gonna land for everyone. I don't have loved items for every single person, but quite a few of them. I meant to give them as a gift before I knew he hated them. Not on purpose. I clicked the wrong item in my bag. It's true for science. To catalog the flowers. Yeah, you gotta have it in the... <laughs> you gotta have the full... I actually really eventually want to be able to fill out like all of these, but it's gonna take gifting a lot of like not so good items. So that's... I mean, that's a fair... That's a, that's a good cause. Liz with the seven months. Liz, thank you so much. Can we please get some emeralds in the chat? See you guys, emerald. Is it an emerald vibe because of the tree planting festival? I love it. I hope you have a great stream. Sadly, I have a cold. I need to go nap. I'll have fun watching the replay. Liz, get well soon. Stay hydrated. Enjoy the replay. Uh, thank you so much for being a member for seven months. Lucky number seven. I appreciate you. I'm very, very much. Sending love. And... What am I thinking? What, what what train of thought did I leave off on? The, the question I ask myself every day. I think tomato soup was the thought. Oh, I'm perfect. Here's some tomato soup. I'm giving it to Luke, but pretend I'm giving it to you. Tomato soup is great. Great comfort food. Look at the blush. Look at the blush. Okay, it's fine. Wait, is... I don't think, I don't think Nina's here. I don't think Nina's here, you guys. Well, that's fine. She's probably busy being like, I don't know. I was gonna say being rich, but I'm rich and I'm here. So I don't know what her excuse is. Surya, I don't have anything for you. I don't think. <laughs> I'm probably gonna give you flowers. I hope you like them. This will be my workout for the week. Me too. Here are some flowers. Oh, I'm so excited, you guys. The day end, when the day ends and there's like the summary, I want to see hearts, hearts, hearts. I, I hope we get at least a few from this, this moment. It's so satisfying to see the hearts go up. Ah, uh, you're very kind. Thank you. So you don't hate flowers. That's good. I would have brought Lode. I didn't have any Lode. She hates the environment? Is that a red flag? Is that a red flag? No, 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 no. I don't want to give flowers to Oliver. Sorry, buddy. I, d I need to save those for the adults. <laughs> um, You can have ice cream. You, you probably like ice cream. Kids like ice cream, right? Yeah, they like ice cream. <laughs> don't think I've ever had uh, homemade good tomato soup. Oh my gosh, I've had some really good tomato soups. Some really good ones. I've also had just like, you know, the cheap ones. Like the good old Campbell's soup as a kid. But there's really, like when you get good tomato soup, I feel like it's so good. I'm the coolest farmer on Coral Island. You guys, Oliver is a 
pun king in the making. I just gave Oliver ice cream. The coolest farmer. Oliver, I am impressed. Keep up your training. You'll do you'll do great things. You'll do great things with those puns. A red flag? I don't think Nina has red flags. <laughs> do I see the color red? It depends on it depends on the person. So <laughs> It depends on the person, if I'm being completely honest. Or sometimes I see a red flag and I'm like, I'm pretty sure if you look at it with one eye closed and you kind of like squint the other one, I think it's actually pink. I don't think that's a, I don't think it's red. I think it's pink. So it depends on the situation. <laughs> Oh, bugs and worms. Okay, Zoe, I'm gonna also give you ice cream because you're a kid. Yes. Score. I think Nina doesn't vibe with physical labor, but I could see her having refreshing beverages and snacks for you when you're finished. Yes, I agree with that. I agree with that. I do. Is Oliver learning from Baudru? Oh my gosh, a Palea Coral Island crossover of any sort? I would just... Oh my gosh, that'd be incredible. I would live for that. Kira, I think I brought you flowers, but you're being a little bit, you know what, I get it. I'm supposed to be here to save the world and I'm handing out ice cream, but that's part of it. It's being nice to each other. That's part of saving the world, being kind. Here's some flowers. See, I got a heart. I think it's cute when the kids call you miss. I think it's cute too. I sure do. I can see Nina coming and being encouraging in later years, but not doing strenuous work. Totally. Lynn, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, 10 months. We need some amethyst. Lynn said, let's change up the color a little bit. We need some amethyst in the chat for Lynn. Lynn, thank you so much for all the support. You are going to be lounging on your flamingo floaty in like literally no time because you're so close to that 12 month mark. Thank you so much. Appreciate it very much. Thank you for the hearts. I'm sending you hearts too. You can't see them. Because I can't do the heart emote. Imagine if we could do little emotes like you can in Palea in this game. That'd be so cute. Especially for multiplayer. No, 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 no. I'm trying to click. Hold on. I'm trying to click there. Okay. <laughs> now, I don't have... I don't have grilled fish for Zara. So, actually, I might be giving you flowers. I might be giving you flowers. Uh, let me take stock of my selection here. I might run out of flowers. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm going to just go with flowers and see if Zara likes them. I actually don't know if she does or not. Okay, she doesn't hate them, so that's important. She doesn't hate them. Because some people don't like flowers. I'll use my imagination. Sounds good, sounds good. Yeah, just, just imagine it. Imagine, no, no. Imagine my little Palea character doing the little heart thing. I'm trying to not accidentally- see, I'm trying to not accidentally give the wrong gift and in the process, I am making it worse. I need the cocoa. There we go. Welcome in everyone, welcome in. Perfect timing, I was thinking about making one myself. No, you were not. Don't lie. Don't lie, Leah. I can tell you're lying. I'm just skipping past the insult on my farm because I know I don't want to get into it with Leah today. Um, I gotta make sure I don't miss... Okay, so we did everyone here. I don't want to miss these lovely ladies. Well, lovely sometimes. <laughs> lovely sometimes. Bree is sometimes just the worst. Like, honestly, just the worst. Um, so for that... I might honestly be giving you flowers too. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give Emily. I don't have an assorted grill platter. I was looking for one of those, but I don't have that. I might have to make some more flower bouquets, you guys. I might have to get to crafting. Well, maybe you'd like a smoothie. You might like a smoothie. You might be dehydrated. Okay, you don't hate it. That's good, too. 
this is uh, year two of the tree planting festival. As you can see, there's uh, some greenery around here, which is really nice. I always, okay, to me, Emily is like a green tea girly, but I don't think she loves it. Every time I give it to her, I think like, well, maybe next time she'll love it. I feel like maybe it's because her early bio said she really liked green tea, so I thought that would be a loved item. But, you know, I'm gonna still give green tea. And she just likes it. She seems like the type of person that would love it. You know who seems like the type of person that would love it, though, actually even more? Eleanor. Because she always talks about it. So I'm pretty sure she must love it. Yeah, she does. Oh, green tea? For me? How thoughtful of you. Yeah, no problem. Eleanor, I'm still waiting. Is, is everyone else still waiting for Eleanor to do something that's like, wow. <laughs> that's, that's interesting. Or just me. Like, I don't know if that's mean. I, I just, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the like, wow. That's cool. Or that's unique or interesting. You should say that. Just something. Sarah, with the three months, we're back to green. Let's get some emeralds in the chat for Sarah. Haven't been on live in a minute because life stuff, but so glad to be back with my fave community playing my fave game. Lots of love, Sarah. That's lucky number three for me because I love three. Um, thank you so much for all the support. And no worries, you guys. I always say no worries. If you can't catch a stream, there's always a replays. Uh, and I'm with you in spirit. When you watch the replay, I'm there. It's live. Just pretend it's live. It feels like it is. And that's a perfect time to shout out anyone watching the replay right now. You guys are here. You're here with us. Right? What is time anyway? Sarah, thank you so much. Okay, wait. I already talked to you guys. Okay, so everyone here is accounted for. I will be giving you coffee for sure. What a beautiful cup of coffee. Um, you made it, so <laughs> it should be. The soil here isn't fit for coffee beans. Well, maybe after year four, they will be. I wonder if that dialogue will change. That'd be interesting. Theo, I don't have any, like, I, I don't have anything Theo likes, I don't think. <laughs> um, but maybe... This treat just looked pretty. Right? Doesn't this look so cute? I feel like- Oh, it is literally described as cute as a button. I feel like Theo would like this. He does like it. Good. Whew. I just- uh, We want a like or a love. As long as we don't get like a hate, we're, we're in business. Okay, I'm gonna give- I'm gonna give- I brought this for Noah, but I think I'm going to actually give it to Frank. And then I'm going to give Noah something different. I'm going to give Noah... Gnocchi. I still can't say that. You'd be surprised how many times I say Gnocchi on live. And <laughs> I still can't say it. <laughs> uh, there you go. Sunny side up eggs. We got another heart. You're too kind. No, you're too kind. Actually, I don't know. You're kind of mean to me last time we talked. He was kind of like, I, I went on an errand to pick like flowers for them. And he was like, oh, these are just silly flowers you can get anywhere. It's so easy. Why didn't you just do it yourself, Noah? Tiffany! We're back to purple. Let's get some amethyst in the chat for Tiffany. I love you. Tiffany, it's been five months. It's been five months. Lots of love. Thank you so much. That's so, so sweet of you. I appreciate your support. And you are one month away from a cheers. We're gonna get a new badge soon. Tiffany, thank you for the support. Purple squad, I love it. I love it, I love it. Thank you so much. These milestones are so amazing, you guys. I was saying this uh, on our, was it member stream last? Yeah, we were talking about the milestones. It's just crazy. Erica's disappointed. No tea. Erica says there's no tea here. Well, how about I give you some tea? Uh, instead. You should- Erica should love tea. Just saying. Erica should love it. She should love it. She's always gossiping. And Macy- Okay, I'm giving you flowers. 
Honestly, guys, it's probably a good thing Nina isn't here. Because look at all this work I'm putting in. It's probably a good thing Nina's not here. Okay, Kenny. Oh, I don't have kombucha for you. I don't have... I'll probably... I'll give you green tea. I'm going to give everyone tea. I feel like everyone should have tea. Yes, we got a heart. We got a heart. Eduardo, thank you for the sub. Welcome in. I can feel it. Nature is slowly healing thanks to everyone's efforts. We love Kenny here. No, Scott. Feeling nature isn't the same as feeling the call of nature. I don't even want to talk to Scott. I'm like traumatized from the last time we did this. <laughs> I already know what he's going to say. Uh, I brought him egg custard though. We got another heart. We got another heart. Who? Okay. Chat. Who is everyone dating in Coral Island? Who's like your number one pick? Have you settled in with someone? Or are you like still dating everyone? Are you still trying to choose? Did you just start playing the game and you're super overwhelmed because everyone's so gorgeous? Scott? 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 Is it because Scott's here with us? Surya? Bold of you to assume I'm, <laughs> I'm not still waiting for Shark Man, I uh, guess. Yeah, Scott, we're not doing that. We're not going down there. I brought Jim some sushi. Pablo, Eva, Alice, maybe Nina, Surya, Raphael, Zara, Yuri, Kenny, Raj. What? How have, how, how have I given Jim two gifts this week? Like, I love Jim, but of all, how is this the first time I'm getting this notice? Okay. I'm really not trying to gift many tarps. I'm trying to put away the sushi. No, I don't want to eat it. I don't want to eat it. I don't want to eat it. I mean, I do. I love sushi, but I don't want to eat it. It's a gift for someone. Uh, Raphael, Yuri, waiting for the next big update to pick the game back up. That's fair. That's totally fair. Like, I'm kind of i mean i've been taking things slow so i still have a lot to do that i haven't done from like just 1.0 but i am pacing myself for sure as you guys can obviously notice just to make sure that we can you know stream this game for like ever for as long as possible without me burning out of it so i'm excited to see what the next update does bring for sure i can't wait to stream that with you guys that's gonna be so exciting oh yes i did bring good i brought onigiri for lily <laughs> she she looks shocked. She doesn't even look, she's not even blushing. She's just like surprised I know that she likes that probably. Theo? Merfolk? That's fair. That's fair. The Merfolk romance is <laughs> definitely highly anticipated. Pale yeah, we do have Paleo too, which is good. We have a lot, actually, we have a lot of games to enjoy right now, which is awesome. There's no shortage. No shortage whatsoever. And I also love checking out brand new games with you guys. It's probably one of my favorite things because it's just like an experience that we get to share together and like see how we like it. It's so fun. Okay, Lily. Lily still needs to get fit. You said this last year, which I understand. Like, I understand. I, I, I've I found myself in that situation too where I'm like, okay, next year. Next year we'll, you know, grab the bull by the horns and take it on. Zara. Zara? I have a crush on Zara for sure. I, I want Axel. I know. I know. Axel, Senja. I know. We're here to make sure everything goes smoothly. And to plant trees. Yeah, sure. And on that note, if you guys could just pick one, not ten, okay? Just, just one character who is not dateable who you would like to date. Just one. I don't want to see lists. Just <laughs> you each get to pick one. <laughs> who would it be? Because I want you to pick. I want you to really think if you could only ask for one from Stairway, who would it be? Reina? Jim? Jim is... 
Jim is. Jim is. Yeah. <laughs> I, I see the appeal for sure. Jack, what did I bring you? I think I didn't bring you anything. I think I was gonna make you a fruit tart and then I forgot. I can give you. Okay. Will Kira get mad if I give her flowers? She might. She might. That's okay. That's okay. He likes them. Karen? Karen. We want to date Karen. Axel? Hot, just hot gym only? <laughs> well, okay, listen. I think... Give the man some credit. Oh, wow. We're on the map now. Wait, this is... I've never... Oh my gosh. Wait, it shows us where we are. Hold on. I want to do that again. It shows us where we are in relation to... If you really look and don't blink, we're like out here. That's cool. Anyway, that's not what we're doing. I was going to pull up Jim's page. I was going to say, I think hot Jim is Jim. Give him some credit. But I know who you're talking about. You're talking about Yassified Jim, which is completely fair. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Lots of axles. I see a lot of axles. Senja, the lady hunter. Are you thinking of Senja? They're gorgeous. You can change, oh, you can change Karen, right? <laughs> Do you think you can change Karen? Do you think Karen is changeable? Where's your shovel? You know what? I am sick and tired of Cha'em. She is so, I get, like, I get it. I'm, I'm here giving gifts. I'm making sure everyone has their sustenance for the tree planting ahead. She's so rude. The goddess? <laughs> I don't know that that would ever be an option, but I mean, fair. Very beautiful. Easier for me to answer that if, if it was about Palea. That's true, because there's a lot of, there are a lot of characters. I think in both games, there's a lot of characters that aren't dateable that would, it would be nice if they were. You guys. Karen is in the chat. Karen, we were, you know, I, okay. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Let's definitely get some pufferfish balloons in chat. Karen wants to be dateable too. Karen, just for the record, I didn't say that I think you should be dateable. Chat said that. I didn't say that. I'm not... That's not what I'm personally longing for. Just to be completely clear, okay? But uh, thank you for the two. I'm glad you're blushing. Karen, I, I still think, though, don't you guys think Karen could, like, come to the light side? I already clocked out. You can't drag me back to work. No. Yeah, your boss is here. Um, I think, Karen, I think it would be, you should, you like to hang out in the streams. I think you just don't want to admit to yourself that you like it here. I think you could, love changes everything, enemies to lovers. I mean, I'm I'm not taking on that task. But if any of you guys are up for it, go for it. <laughs> go for it, go for it. I got a chocolate chip muffin for Aaliyah. It's good stuff, good stuff. Uh, I gotta make sure I talk to them too, because we get extra points. This area gets a lot of rain. It's good because a nice stable water supply is what we need for reforestation. Karen, you should really be here. Look at what we accomplished last year. Look at all these new trees. You know, and since your whole, isn't the company motto like, we love nature, you should be here. You should be here as long as you're not selling stuff. We don't need any, we already have a shop. We already have a shop, we don't need another like store. Prefer Reina to Karen. Karen does constantly give you gifts even if it is poo. I mean, I have said gift giving is one of my love languages, but I I don't know about the poo. I don't know that that counts. I don't know. It's hard to say. And Paul, what do I ever do with Paul? Paul, what do you want from me? What do you want? I feel like Paul would just like anything. Paul would just be the type to like, here, have some cookies. I feel like you'd like some cookies. 
You like him. Good. I feel like he'd like anything. <laughs> he doesn't strike me as a man who hates many things. Okay, and Dinda. He's gonna give Dinda flowers. Karen in an enemies to lovers trope is my queer dream. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I can't, I feel like I can't talk about any of this because Karen's listening. <laughs> so I can't, I can't make any statements. I mean, though, listen, the, the, do you guys remember the artwork? It wasn't too long ago they shared it of like Karen and Derek and Reyna. And there's like the mobile like wallpaper version of it. I I'll I'll tell you this, even if you're listening, Karen. I had that as my wallpaper for like a good month of real life time, so it was very well done. It was very beautiful art by David. I'll give you that, and that's it. That's all I'm giving you. And Anne, you're gonna get tea. I'm giving every. I feel like I'm giving everyone flowers and tea. Is that because I want flowers and tea? And the tea I want, I want like, you know, I want the tea. I actually have tea in real life that I'm, I'm drinking as I'm streaming. <laughs> but I want the metaphorical tea of drama in this game. Cisco, thank you so, so much for gifting 20 memberships. Can we please get some gifts in the chat for Cisco? And please check to see if you're gifted. If you were, you have access to the exclusive member emotes for an entire month, not just today, courtesy of Cisco. Thank you so much, Cisco. All the love. I appreciate that very much. It always makes me happy when more people can use the emotes. When y'all can put tacos in the chat, you can put pufferfish balloons in the chat, all the good stuff. I love it. So thank you so much, Cisco. Okay, listen, hold on. I gotta take a breath because I have a lot of emotions in this corner of... of the field. Actually, let me procrastinate on it. <laughs> I'm going to come back to that. I'm going to give... I'm going to give... What am I going to give? Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, let's just go. Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day to you, too. That's so sweet of you. I appreciate it. I gotta figure out what to give Betty. I'm gonna give her tea. I'm gonna give her tea as well. <laughs> We're giving everyone tea. I love Valentine's so much, you guys, because I love love. So I love that you guys love love too. It's like match made in heaven, you know? It's awesome. Because Valentine's is like about so much to me. It's like friendship. It's just about loving one another. It doesn't have to be romantic. It can, of course, but it doesn't have to be. So I just love like dedicating a day to loving other people. But honestly, when Cisco said earlier, like every day is Valentine's Day, I also love that too, because I feel like you should, in a, in a sense, treat every day with, with love, right? So I really like that. I'm going to remember that. We must protect Betty at all costs. Speaking of love. The right attitude. Oh, I, I love it. I love it. I love that you guys see it the same way too. We're all so same Z's. So I feel so grateful we've all like, you know, had our paths cross in the digital space. It's pretty special. Oh no, Noah's gonna puke on me to ruin the moment. Noah? Could you have picked another moment to puke? I'm having a wholesome moment with my community. My gosh. <laughs> Wonder if in later years Betty might not come. I don't know. Betty's a trooper. So I don't know. It's hard to say. But the day after Valentine's Day has discount candy. Well, that's true. It should be a whole week, honestly. It should be like Valentine's week. I I mean, I see February as the month of love. You can celebrate whenever you want. It doesn't have to be on the day. Okay, so Noah was good. Good thing I didn't bring him a sunny. <laughs> good thing I gave the sunny side up egg to Frank. Could you imagine being so seasick 
from the trip over and then someone like her shows up with an egg on a plate. Oh gosh, that's like the worst thing. That was the worst gift I could have given in this situation. So I'm glad I, I did that. I'm gonna give Noah this. I hope it's comfort food to him and not gonna make him more sick. Okay, he loves it. I can tell these are made with the best ingredients. Thank you. Well, I probably grew them myself. So that's probably why. Okay, now we have to... <laughs> I'm having flashbacks to... My last... The last Let's Play episode I did that... Oh my gosh, I, I feel like I should have been arrested because I... I didn't have... I don't think I had a proper license to handle the weapon I had with me. Um, but listen, Walter is trying to stir up business here. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit from either of these two. Okay, so I'm giving Randy coffee. Better than egg in a bowl? You think egg on a plate is better than egg in a bowl? I think egg in a bowl is better than egg on a plate. I'm like opposite. I think the bowl is like... How can you have an egg without a bowl? It just doesn't... I don't know. I don't know if I have a, like a place for that in my life. It's like lemons and limes. How do you have one without the other? Noah, could you pick another moment to puke? Yeah, right? Why? Why did he pick this moment? We we're having like a nice wholesome... warm and fuzzy moment and then he just pukes. I do not want to give- okay, I'm not giving you flowers. I'm not giving you alcohol. This is for Mayor. I'm sure you'd like it, but I'm gonna give you... How about hot cocoa? No, I- uh, What is it that say to Walter? I, I'm gonna give you a smoothie. I think you should have a smoothie. Some vitamins, you know? Farmer, you're good looking. Thank you, Sunny. <laughs> you side with the bull? <laughs> Randy gives you weird vibes. Ooh, elaborate? Does Randy give anyone else weird vibes? This is Randy, by the way. I get mixed vibes from Randy. Like, sometimes I'm like, oh, he's so sweet. Like, and then other times I'm like, Okay, do you socialize like this because of the like social status, the money? What is it? He does occasionally say things like I feel like they're always talking business. So it is a bit of a red flag for sure. And Sunny, I don't think I have anything that you're going to love. But maybe you'd like, well, maybe you'd like sushi. Jim didn't want it. Maybe you like it. You sure? Thanks. I am sure. It's the friendship with Walter. Don't really like Randy for some reason. He seems like a wolf in sheep's clothing for me. I could see that. I could see that. Randy makes me want to rewatch Full Metal Alchemist. <laughs> Amazed that Egg in a Bull finds his way into chat every stream. Somehow, that's what I'm saying. That's why it's Egg on a Plate? No. It does not hit the same. So, I've been giving the children ice cream, because usually kids like ice cream. I feel like Valentina will not like ice cream because I feel like Suki has raised her with like really healthy foods. But I still, I don't know. <laughs> I just feel like she's not gonna like ice cream. I, I wanna give her a dessert though. I know I gave her cookies and I gave her muffins and she didn't love either of them. I could give her, it's basically ice cream or pumpkin pie. Or this one, this one's really cute. I do have a lot of pumpkin pie though. I feel like if I'm gonna waste a dessert on a like, then I should do one I have like a lot of. Cause I know she doesn't love cookies or muffins, I've tried. Cause I thought, listen, she has to love these. She has to love them, she's a kid, she's cookies. How do you not love chocolate chip cookies? She doesn't love them. Uh, so I'm gonna go with the pumpkin pie. It's kind of odd, but then it'll just be a, oh my gosh. 
Valentino loves pumpkin pie? Wait, why? I feel like she would hate every dessert because she hates, she doesn't like most of them. I'm like actually, okay. Because I brought the pumpkin pie. Oh, I know why she loves it. It's because I brought it for Pablo. I brought it for Pablo. And she probably spent so much time with Raphael and Pablo that Pablo probably sneaks her pumpkin pie. Oh my gosh, wait, the lore. The lore. Wait, you guys, this is actually so, this is huge. Pablo sneaks Valentina pumpkin pie when, when she visits her uncle's. And so she loves pumpkin pie. I love the thought that went into that from Stairway. I'm giving Archie ice cream though. I'm not giving Archie pumpkin pie. Because Archie has to like ice cream. It's true though. If you give like sweets to all the kids, they like it. And then Valentina's like, eh, I don't really like this. Which is so perfect. I love that Stairway put that like attention to detail. Knowing that like Suki is like a granola mom. So she's not gonna let her daughter have too many treats. Pumpkins are vegetables too. Yeah, exactly. She's like, <laughs> Valentina's probably like, but mom, listen, it's made with a vegetable. Like it's, it's not all bad. <laughs> She's like trying to convince her mom that it's like not the worst snack for her. <laughs> they're veg, they're basically just, I basically just picked a pumpkin and ate it. That's basically what it is. Not a fruit. Is a pumpkin a fruit? It's a, what are the, things in the family of like squash pumpkins called you know gourds like that kind of thing someone google it <laughs> gourds yeah <laughs> are gourds a fruit or a vegetable you're off your gourd mom <laughs> i love that it all makes sense that was such a happy accident but i love those little details that the team put in where it's like oh yeah so let me I'm pretty- okay, now watch me be like, he doesn't even love this. I'm pretty sure I gave him pumpkin pie and he loved it. I usually give him pizza, but yeah. <gasps> I got an achievement too, you guys! Good friends. Reach heart- uh-oh. I just got the achievement of reaching heart eight with an NPC right now. Oh no! I mean hype and hearts, but like, also... Did it have to be Pablo? <laughs> Have I just been cursed? I tried it. I try everything. I do everything wrong or right, however you'd want to look at it. Pumpkins are fruits. Pumpkin is a seed bearing fruit. Okay, so Valentina goes, Mom, it's a fruit. And then Suki goes, Yeah, fruits have sugar. I don't know. I don't know if Suki's like that level of, of it, but. <laughs> a little sus that pumpkin's a fruit. Kinda. It's like, is, aren't avocados berries? And I'm like, wow. Avocados are berries. That's something. A pumpkin is classified as a fruit because it's a product of the seed bearing structure of flowering plants. Alyssa, thank you. Um, okay, so I learned that I've never thought about it. I've literally never thought about what a pumpkin is, you guys. And today we asked the question, is it a fruit or a veggie? It's a fruit. First eight heart with NPC is not with Nina. Well, maybe listen, before we panic, before we panic, everyone settle down. I'm talking to myself mostly. Maybe the achievement was like behind because maybe I've already got eight hearts with someone and it didn't activate. You know, I'm so scared. I don't want to, I shouldn't do this live. I do not want to know who my top characters are right now. I really don't want to know. I really don't want to know this. I'm going to expose myself somehow. I'm literally trying, you guys, I'm literally trying so hard to not level up with certain characters, but also balance that with unlocking cutscenes and like spilling the tea. I'm just going to do it. Oh my gosh. I would have actually, I would have actually lost it. I would have lost it even more if somehow it were Charles as my first eight heart. I would have lost it. I would just end the stream. I would just end the stream. Also, listen, this, can I, can I just, can I just, I feel like I'm on trial right now. Can I just defend myself for a second? Can I explain myself? Because there's some other variables that go into this. You have to consider chat. You have to consider this, okay? Time to actually hold up your end of the deal and marry Pablo. No, that was, that deal was, that deal was 
put that we canceled that. We canceled that one. So, yes, you're on to what I'm gonna you're on to my explanation. So Nina didn't show up until summer, right? So that's a whole month slash season, which is like three months in their universe. The panic in her voice. I just need to explain myself. Nina showed up like a month later and then I skipped fall. We played summer, we skipped fall. I said, we're not playing fall this year just because I wanted to be a little kooky and uh, started really trying to win her over in winter. And now we're spring. So the fact that I've accomplished, how many hearts is this? Seven? Seven hearts with Nina in literally a fraction of the time it took me to get to eight hearts with Pablo is impressive. So Nina should actually be over here. If you like did the math and like balanced everything, like accounted for all that, then Nina would be like at the top of the list. She would have like 20 hearts. Cause that's how math works in case you guys didn't know. So there, that's my, I just had to explain myself a bit. Now I, I, ta I already talked to Charles, right? Yes, okay, so it's good. Like, Cause I'm just not gonna talk to Charles. <laughs> I can't, I can't get to, I literally am not talking to Charles until I have eight hearts with Nina. I'm not. I'm not, okay? I don't care about the tea. I don't care about, I do, but we can wait. The tea can wait. I'm, I can't do that. I can't do that. You know what, Pablo, you're lucky, okay? You're lucky I'm nice. Nina love math. Yes. Hashtag Nina love math. <laughs> it's Nina math. It is. Hey, Raphael, I brought you sushi. Thank you guys for letting me explain myself. I rest my case. I, I'm glad you guys all agree with me. Top hearts for Sarah's Pablo and Charles. Just right now in this exact moment. But no, that's not true because the reason why... Hold on, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The reason why Charles is here and Nina's not, is because his name starts with a C. Not because he likes me more or I like him more, okay? It's because his name starts with a C. <laughs> it has nothing to do with the love or the like or the friendship or any of that. It's alphabetical. Okay, I think I have now gifted things to everyone. I haven't given anything to the mayor. Oh, Waku? I didn't give anything to Waku. I got so flustered over here. I didn't give anything to Waku. I will give Waku a muffin. Friend zone Pablo? Yeah, we could friend zone Pablo. But also, we have to see like, <laughs> we have to see like some of the events, right? Don't we want to see like the events? I don't want to eat those. I don't know. I'm kind of like curious in like a scientific regard about the romantic events for all the potential dateable characters. So I don't know. We might have to check them out just to see what their story, you know, where their story, story goes. Can we date all of them? You can. P is after C. Beca okay, 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 okay. With Pablo, it's because Pablo likes me more than Charles. Pablo likes me the most, then Charles and Nina are tied for how much they like me. Anastasia with the eight months. Thank you so much. Let's get some citrines in the chat for Anastasia, please. And thank you. Love you, Sarah. Much love for everyone here today. Anastasia, lots of love to you as well. Thank you so much for all the love for me and for everyone. I appreciate your support very, very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's nice to see you. Um, I think I gave gifts to everyone, you guys. I'm just double checking. I don't know if I want to buy anything. Oh, I should buy some of this. Because my rank... My rank is low right now. I said town rank what? How about we... Just focus on... Designing and... 
romancing instead. Do it for science? Yeah, right? Like, it, you, you need to be a good, like, scientific researcher. I need to know the full story of all the characters, even if it's a romantic one. I need to know, like, what, especially, you know, with how much I've covered the game. We need to know. I'm gonna give Connor, oh, look, I, not just any sake. I made some quality sake for Connor. Wait, Connor, I need to, this is, okay, there we go. I got it. It's a sweet spot. Okay, and now that all the characters should be very happy because they've all been showered with gifts, we should be able to do the festival. But the question is, are we ready? Do it for science? I, I will, I probably will. Oh, I still can talk to you. I gotta get max points with everyone, you guys. Millie, did I, I might not have given Millie a gift, did I? Yeah, I did. I gave you flowers. Okay. I need to make sure we're all ready. I need to see readies in the chat. Because this is, okay. We will do the tree planting festival again, but it's not going to be at year two. So I want to make sure you guys are ready. I want to make sure I'm ready. I'm going to have some of my tea, a little bit of hydration. Uh, water would be the hydration aspect, tea and water. We're doing both. I see readies. I see lots of readies. I love this festival event so much. I kind of wish, I kind of wish the beach cleanup festival had something like this added with the trash, like actually cleaning it up. Because I think, and I know they, they designed that festival before this one, but I just think having, you know, some kind of event like that would be awesome. Okay, I want to start it. There we go. We're ready. We're ready. We are ready. Yvette with the three months. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. Uh, can we please get some emeralds in the chat for Yvette, lucky number three. Hi, Sarah and chat. Love the NPC relationship talk. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad because I love it too. I love gossiping about the characters uh, with you guys. It's so fun. Oh my gosh, this is a whole different... Of course, it's a different area. I don't know why I thought they were just going to spawn us into the same little course. Well, of course, they paired me up with Pablo again. Of course. Thank you so much, Yvette. I really appreciate the support so, so much. All right. Time to clear up all this stuff. Wish the beach cleaning festival would be more interactive. Yeah, like something like this would be really cool. what I think because I love it it's also really satisfying to just do so if they ever wanted to you know give an update to the, the beach festival I love all the mini games but I just think it'd be so cool to do something like this add it as well who's Suki talking to oh oh I don't know. Wait, 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 what? What is she gesturing? Uh, so chickens in the chat? I'm very good. Too much wine? <laughs> the heat has gotten to her? Oh no, call Yuri. Oh no, we have to call Yuri? Well, that would suck. <laughs> that would suck. You think Suki had too much wine? What, didn't I give her green juice? Yeah. <laughs> it's a little sus though. <laughs> so like an NPC that everyone else can see that I just can't for some reason. Is it wine in her cup? I couldn't even tell what kind of cup it is. I can't tell if she's trying to cool off the drink or like I have literally no idea what she's doing. What did you put in the, what did you put in the juice? Uh, uh oh. Maybe I accidentally gave her the 
blend that I usually that that I usually make for Ben. Cause I did make I did give Ben tea. But I thought I made the, the stuff that everyone likes, not just the stuff that Ben likes. Maybe I mixed it up in the kitchen. I don't remember. It was so long ago. I mean you guys were there. Right? You saw. I think it was just normal tea. Maybe she's rehearsing for something? Oh yeah. Probably. That's probably it. I would act like that too to get Yuri over. <laughs> Imaginary friend. She'll tell you to get to work. Yeah. She would. Oh, maybe she can see the giants. Ooh, I would love that. That would be a nice twist. I would love it if some of the adult NPCs could see the giants like us. She's telling us to get out of here. She's like, get out of here and go work. Maybe that's what she's doing. I don't know. She's a sunstoner for sure. Suki, confirmed sunstoner. I don't know, she might be mad at me still. I sided with uh, Alice. About the, the blankets. Not the herbal tea. You mix Ben's drink with Suki's drink? Uh-oh. <laughs> I mixed them up. Maybe Ben shared his drink with her? Maybe. They are, they are, they do. Okay, listen. They do spend a lot of time together. I don't know if you guys have noticed. They spend a lot of time together, Suki and Ben. Oh, yay. So we finished that area. I always wish there was more to clean up. I love it. It's so like meditative. So who's here with me? We have Surya. Okay, Aliyah's putting in work. I was like, how do I... <laughs> what do I do with this? Millie's just... Millie's done enough already. She organized the whole thing. She doesn't need to... Oh, Theo's helping. Wait, why can't my hoe look like that? That's a serious hoe. Waku in his three bags of trash. Not... Okay, listen. Yeah, you hear that? Notice how I didn't say anything? It's like how you're doing nothing to help. Natasha, thank you so much for the 10 months. Can we please get some amethyst in the chat for Natasha? Hello, everyone. Hope all are doing well this evening. Natasha, thank you so much for supporting me for 10 entire months. The time has absolutely flown. I appreciate you. I hope you're doing well. Welcome in, welcome in. I thought year two Pablo would get his act together, perhaps. Like, look at Theo's out here breaking his back. And Pablo's just like whistling away over here. Ugh. <sighs> It's exhausting, honestly. Year after year, still the same. Okay, oh, there's more over here. Now oh, there's so many. There were a lot of squares done by Pablo while Theo was doing one over and over again. Oh, you think Pablo did all those other squares? I mean, benefit of the doubt, sure. I kind of imagine it was Theo who did it. But yeah, maybe he's just more efficient. He finished it before I could even start. Maybe, maybe. We don't know. And we have the saplings. I love that there's more to do in the, the second year for each of the areas. Paul! Paul, hey, thank you so much for gifting 10 memberships. We need gifts in the chat for Paul. Welcome in, welcome in. 
Thank you so much. You guys, if you're a gifted, enjoy the emotes. You can put gifts in the chat for Paul yourself if you'd like, if you're here. Thank you so much, Paul. Hope you're doing well. The grand entrance, right? We've got 20 saplings to plant this year. The girls are gossiping. Actually, they're probably not. They're probably talking about something really important and like smart. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can barely aim. Okay, now Theo's standing around. Or is there two planted? Okay, everyone, <laughs> Waku did this one. Waku said, this one's mine. I did that one, I'm done. <laughs> They're all just watching me. But Pablo is still the worst because he's holding the sapling like he's gonna do something. You know when people like, they like look like they're gonna they're gonna be busy. They're trying to make themselves look like they're helping and they're not. The others are just like over it. They're like clearly like, yeah, we're not helping. Pablo's like, no, I'm gonna help. Because if anyone looks my way, then they'll they'll see that I'm holding a sapling and then they'll report back to the mayor. I can keep up my reputation of being the most helpful person in town. Love witnessing Sarah's Pablo rage. Uh, what happened to the forgiveness. I thought I forgave him. So I probably shouldn't be raging, to be honest. Sarah, you farm, you should do this, right? Yeah. <laughs> Suki, you can't be drinking at this festival. <laughs> you think that's the conversation? <laughs> Actually, yeah, Suki looks a little bit on guard. And Millie's explaining. So either Millie's talking about something that Suki doesn't care about or she's kind of giving her a bit of a scolding. Suki. <laughs> what you do in your personal time is your business, but you can't show up to the tree planting festival in this state. Probably all stuffed from all the food I gave. Oh yeah, it's my fault for sure. Yeah, you're right. I shouldn't have given them all the food, my bad. My bad, I set myself up for this. I should have given them the food after. Yeah. Okay, last one. Amazing. Okay, you guys, Hawkeyes. Eyes on the screen, we gotta see if we can spot anything juicy. There's the koala. Wait, look at me. Did you see me putting in work there with the axe? Oh, my girl's strong. Oh, look at me and Eva. That's so cute. Aw. I love that the scenes are different, too. That's so sweet. Most helpful person in town is Sarah. I mean, they kind of do set you up for that in this game. It's like, hey, welcome to our dying town. Please do everything. Thank you. <laughs> it's it's kind of just one of those things with these games. Another area all planted. Let's head back up and enjoy the rest of the day at Purwa Woods. I didn't want that to be over. That was so cute. Great job, everyone. Duh, it's Coral Island. Yeah. Ah, uh, how lovely. Okay, so now... I need to take a picture. Take our annual picture. Amazing. Look, it's already green. And then the next year, these will all grow in. And then we'll have another area this one's really big though this area oh, such a great idea such a brilliant idea for a festival to have it go over four years all right i think we can leave because we have even though it's always hard for me to leave festivals i always just want to stay here and literally just like stand like i just want to stand here forever and just like hang out um but we have a lot of stuff to do so we're gonna head out leave the festival we'll see you next year you know Not me thinking you said hot guys. When did I say that? <laughs> when did I say that? 
Did I say that? I might have. There's lots of hot guys here. Well, not here anymore, but there was about a second ago. And just like that, it's the end of the day. Okay, chickens are happy. I need to build another coop too. Oh, hawk eyes. <laughs> hawk eyes for hot guys, you guys. Oh my gosh, how many times can I say guys too? It would have still fit the vibe. Okay, so. I need. Oh my gosh, I have but a minute. I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. Hold on. Let me plan this. Don't panic as I panic. Okay. Okay. I can make it. I can make it. I just want to give her a gift before the end of the day. <laughs> I got to. <sighs> okay. Just let me focus for a second, you guys. Just let me focus for a second. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Flowers? Flowers? Wait, wait. Stop. I need to find the flowers <laughs> in my pocket. Happy Sunday to you. Oh, thank you. We always have so much fun together. Did you notice that? <gasps> yes. Wait, do we? Yes, I did. It's like we're good friends or something. Yeah, or something. Okay. Okay. Okay, stop. Why am I holding fertilizer? I should be holding flowers, obviously. Okay. Okay. Wait, stop. 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 Because if she if she had gotten inside, it's closed. It's 9 p.m. I can't. It's over for the day. I had to catch her before she goes inside the house. We barely made it. <laughs> we barely made it. Best friends? Oh, maybe even roommates. Spectacular. You're welcome. Okay, excellent. Gotta even the playing field here. Perfect, perfect. I barely made that, you guys. That was a moment of panic. Is there anyone else I should give a gift to? I think I've given gifts to everyone here. And they're probably snoozing. Probably snoozing, so I can't. Oh, we could go here, though. Oh. Uh... Well, there could be someone here who I haven't gifted. That's not showing up. Fangirl over Nina. I am a little bit... I do have a crush. I do have a crush on Nina, yes. Oh no! Since the other day we talked about Tao and Taco, would Nina be heartbroken if she found out you're flirting with Tish? That's something I don't want to confront. I don't know. I don't know her stance on that. I guess it's a conversation I should have. Oh yeah, no, I've given gifts to everyone here. Nina would flirt with Tish too? I like that. I like that perspective. Oh, Sam. I didn't give Sam anything. He was probably running the shop. Not this. This looks fun and pretty and cute and colorful and yummy. I'm talking about the dessert, just to be clear. Trees take about four weeks to grow. Oh! Sam's done research. It's longer than other plants, but the good thing is you don't need to water them all that much. They're self-sufficient, you see. I think it's time for another haircut. My hair is getting so long. Sure. My oh my. Oh my gosh, Sam has so much to say today. <laughs> you can't tell? Does Sam's hair look long to you guys? Are you being polite? Size. I don't know. I thought it looked uh, short. I've talked to everyone else here. Okay, we can leave. I think, I do think Nina would probably also have a crush on Tish. Like if they met each other, like they would understand. I think we're good for gifts. I think I can go to bed. 
because I think I've gifted as many people as I possibly can. I already gave Eva a gift. Everyone else is like sleeping. Or partying at the tavern. So let's go to bed. Let's see, you guys. I wonder how many hearts we're going to get after today. Do you have any predictions? If you have predictions, you can put them in the chat. I think I'm... Okay, let me think. I think I'm going to get... Because I it's hard... It feels like it's harder to get the hearts in the upper levels. I don't know if that's true or not. It just feels that way. So I'm going to guess I'm going to get five from all that. It's my prediction is that I'll get five hearts from all the work I put in. It'd be nice to have more than that, but if I don't get more, that's fine. Seven. Lucky number seven. Let's find out. It's going to be five or seven. Six. Oh, we have some last minute predictions rolling in. At least eight. Even though I didn't get to see what happened. If you guys get it right, you get a point. We've been collecting points on streams. Kind of. <laughs> here and there. I don't know what they're for, but... <laughs> you, you can remind me that you have a point for something. <laughs> Dora says eight, ten cyberfrogs. Uh... So, so between, we're thinking between six and ten. Ten. Ten would be a lot. Nine? Okay, let's see if any of you get points. For not, they're for, the points are for pointing. Oh, well, that's perfect. I'm kind of nervous. Okay. Okay, we at least have four. One, two, okay, Alice, and wait, this is looking good because look at this, A, A, B, B. We've got a lot of letters in the alphabet to go. Let's definitely get some coral hearts in the chat because look, we're getting them both. We got both of those, friendship and love, or just friendship, or just love. Okay, Alice, and Betty, Ben, Bree. We, we're still in the Bs. One, two, three, four. Bree, Connor, Dinda, Emily, Emma, Eva, Frank, Jack, Jim, Lily? Oh my gosh, I so, I guessed way too low. I guessed way too low. Ling, Luke, Mark, Oliver, Pablo, well, we knew that one. Paul, Raj. Wait, I didn't get... A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Nina. Nina should be right here. Where's Nina's heart? Where's Nina's heart? I gave her flowers. I ran to her doorstep before she went to bed. Are you making sure I got her flowers? Phoenix, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, for the Amethyst membership. Can we please get some Amethyst in the chat for Phoenix? I'll be sure to add you to uh, my credits and be sure to get caught up on all the content you've just unlocked. There's a ton of it. You've got member streams. You've got gaming after coffee podcast, behind the scenes, all sorts of stuff. Thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Yeah, no Nina. Maybe the next day we'll, maybe if I give her another gift on the next day, we'll get it next time. She's just not into you and that's okay. Wait, that's not true. Cisco, that's not true. That's not true. That's not true. She called me my love. That's not true. <laughs> I'm not throwing a tantrum on this, this side of the screen. I didn't just jump out of my seat a little bit. Raj, Randy, Scott, Valentina, Waku, Walter. Even Walter's on this list. Maybe she's playing hard to get. Like a little bit. She's like, flowers, really? You're giving me a lot of flowers. How about something new? How about some yogurt? It's an epic love story. It takes time. <laughs> we'll go with that. Maybe I'll give her some yogurt. I thought flowers would be like more romantic for your Valentine's, but maybe she just really wants yogurt. She's just simple. But you know what? What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. 26 hearts. And what did I guess? Five? Okay. I need to get my stuff together. I just was being conservative. A little bit too conservative, I would say. 8K? Let's also get some bling in the chat. We got hearts. We got bling. We got it both today. Just because I sold my potatoes. Potatoes are worth quite a bit, you guys. If you plant enough of them, you, you fertilize them. But you should, you should pickle them. You should pickle them. Don't just sell them. Awesome. Thank you for the bling. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you for believing in me, some of you, that I can win over Nina eventually. <laughs> Uh, okay, what a journey. That was an emotional one. Let's say good morning to Lembus. By the way, I call Lembus Lembus uh, because Quartz to me is my dragon and my, my puppy. This is Lembus. And when I get my second pet, I'm going to have a Lembus and I'm going to name it maybe Lembus or something else. And then I'm going to also have a dragon and or my dog. But, uh, we are going to, before we continue, and hopefully we've unlocked some events. So we're going to run around the entire map. We're going to go into buildings. We're going to see what we can maybe uncover. Maybe we're going to spill some tea, but I do need a snack. I do need to go grab a banana. So we're going to all take a break together. It's about five minutes. Use it to grab some water, grab a snack, grab a drink, grab a blanket, uh, get comfy, do some jumping jacks, whatever you want to do, whatever you need to do. Uh, and then I'll meet you guys back here. You won't miss out on anything and it'll all be good so let's get some snacks in the chat and i will see you very shortly for more awesomeness in coral island probably some tea probably some love probably some drama you're probably gonna get it all so don't go too far i'll be right back
Welcome back everyone or welcome in if you're just joining. Welcome in friends. Welcome in. Thank you so much you guys for 100 likes on the stream. What the heck? You guys did that so quickly. We definitely need hype and chat for that. The hype's for you guys. Thank you so much for doing that and taking the time. I appreciate it very much. Oh, we have some harvests. Oh, my pockets are a mess. <laughs> I have my tools all over the place. I don't I didn't have them like this though. I think it's because of the festival. Got a little funny. Um, okay. Let's harvest. I do have some gifts still that we can give out, but I might have to restock for some things because we're going to continue giving gifts. But yeah, we got to go to every corner of the map, see if we've unlocked any new events. We're going to go in like order. Maybe we'll try. <laughs> we'll try. Welcome in, welcome in. Yeah, the hype's for you guys. You guys deserve all the hype. And all the love. If you are just tuning in, we are on a gift-giving spree. Uh, we just got like 20-some hearts. With the characters. Uh, I am gonna keep these though. I'm gonna process these. I need a chest somewhere. I don't know exactly where I'm gonna put all of my equipment yet. Some of it's gonna go in the shed, but some of it is gonna stay out. So I think for now, I'm just gonna pop a chest here. Mm, maybe a stone chest. I always have so much stone. And then I'm gonna store these away. Uh, I'm gonna keep the base quality for cooking. Sounds good to me, sounds good. And the mission is for sure to get a heart with Nina. I need to get... <laughs> I need to get a heart with Nina on this stream. If I don't, I don't know what else. We're not gonna, we'll cross that bridge if we have to. Um, do I wanna grab any of these? Oh, the yogurt for sure. We're gonna, forget the flowers. We're gonna give Nina yogurt. Don't you agree though with me that I was thinking flowers would be nice and romantic for Valentine's? Oh my gosh, my fridge is full. <laughs> My fridge is full. Well, maybe I will. I don't need two stacks of cocoa beans. Oh, I already had radishes. That's good. That's perfect. I wish we could expand the fridge too. I think that would be nice. Get like a giant mega fridge. So I'll sell that. If we need any other gifts, I think we can buy them. I'm not going to spend time like cooking today. No! Why is Alice up here? Oh, because of the, the letter of... Oh, we love Alice. It's just because of her name. Wait. That means I could technically... That means I could technically... Date Pablo. I'm not going to. Yet. But that means I could. A box of chocolates would be a fun gift. Expanding the fridge would be fantastic, right? Because I always land up with like a little chest of like extras for cooking. Emma gave us the fish taco recipe, which is awesome because a lot of the characters like fish tacos. I didn't have any. <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh, there's no way we got this today. Ah, greetings, lovebirds! Okay, hold on. Oh my gosh, you guys, I've never seen this before. I have never seen this before, ever. This is like brand new. I love getting new, new stuff because a lot of the stuff, of course, I experienced in early access, but I never got up to like eight hearts with anyone, I don't think, before, like when this was implemented. Greetings, lovebirds. You're really hitting it off with folks, aren't you? Just a heads up, our island has a tradition. If you want to be more than just friends with someone, you should give them a locket. Otherwise, your friend will stay just that, a friend. Of course, not everyone will be into receiving a locket. Some people are already married or just not interested in romance, you know? So just keep that in mind when you're tossing lockets around, okay? Not that not the devs being like, just a reminder, you guys, not everyone is dateable. I love that. Stairway, well done, well done. I see you. I see you. <laughs> Drop by our shop to grab one. I love that. Yeah, hearts in the chat. It was meant to be, right? Create a separate save and do it in secret. Do any of you guys have multiple saves for multiple characters? 
They're begging you to date Pablo. It is the love stream. Yeah, no. I, could you imagine? No. Not until... <laughs> not until I've given a locket. I have to give my first locket to Nina. It has to be. That's the only way. It's... Oh, what a good point. At least you can't level up with Pablo anymore. What a good point. Yeah. Pa not Pablo sending us this. Pablo's like, just so you know. I, I couldn't help but notice that, you know... I've, I have eight hearts with you now. So if you wanted to give me a locket, you could. I love that. Ugh, I want to go look at it at least. I kind of want to buy one. At the same time, it's kind of dangerous to have on hand. Like what if I accidentally give it to Pablo? What if I trip and fall and like the locket just lands like in his, his hands? That would be disastrous. Catastrophic. So I have to be careful. I think if I buy one, I should like lock it away somewhere. Haha. <laughs> Lock it. Eh, I didn't even plan. I didn't plan that. As 99% of my puns go, never planned. Reboot the game. I would have to. I would literally have to like reload the game <laughs> on the spot live. I have multiple saves for different marriages. Love blacksmith. <laughs> Wait, wait, the, the plot thickens. They signed it. Pablo signed it as blacksmith. It was from Pablo and he signed it as blacksmith. So he wasn't lying per se because he is a blacksmith, but he also maybe wanted me to think, oh, maybe Raphael sent this as like a little hint about Pablo. Pablo didn't send me this. It must have, it must have been Raphael. That is so funny. I love that. I love that so much. This just gets better and better. Okay, they're still good for food. I do still need to build a silo. Three months later. <laughs> I'm gonna put these here too. Okay. The chickens are good. Did you see the chicken smile? Did you guys see that? The chicken smiled. They're still just looking okay. Oh my gosh. Hash brown is almost a hundred days old. Hash brown. You're getting old. You're getting old, dude. Almost a hundred days. They must both be almost a hundred days. Yep. My little chickens, they've grown up so fast. How old are my cows? Let's get some chocolate cows in the chat. Oh, 98. Oh yeah, I got them all the same day. Wow, they're all gonna celebrate their 100th birthday together on the same day. <laughs> How about you buy me the locket I made to profess your love to me, Pablo? <laughs> He's like, you'd be supporting my business and Showing me that you care. I love the chocolate cows. No longer a kneeling proposal, you have to trip and fall. Yes. The Chevy Chase proposal. You have to you have to trip and fall or it doesn't count. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wait, quartz? Quartz is on the map. <gasps> quartz is on the map. This is not a drill. Also, it's not a drill. Is in case you guys didn't see, there are literally uh, pet stickers. I have to say this because we love our pets. There is a sticker sheet of the pets at threadingpixels.com. It's not part of my collection, but if you guys like the animals, I'm gonna go check it out. Yeah, go check it out. Go check out the Coral Island collection. You can get stickers of all the little animals. It's so cute. There's one for the farm friends too, but the pet one is new. So you can get like all the animals, which is really cool. And you can stick them on stuff. You can stick them on your planner, wherever you stick things. <laughs> wherever you stick stickers. Maybe your sticker journal if you have one. Um, sticker, sticker, stickers. Yeah, there's well, there's a lot of stickers, but I'm just... I have like a bit of a soft spot for animals and especially the pets. So when I saw that, I was like, oh my gosh. Obsessed. I know you guys like the animals too, so... Thought I'd mention that. Absolutely, when working hard, yes. Cisco has been working very hard. It was nice seeing you plant those trees, taking care of Mother Nature. Sure put a different shine on ya. 
We're shiny. We are shiny today. I need to get you some, I feel like I need to go shopping. I need to get like kombucha and stuff. Oh no, I think I have more tea still. I do, I have one more tea, you can have it. No, you can't have it. I need it for someone who doesn't like kombucha. Okay, let me go into town. I'm totally flustered for many reasons. We're gonna go into town. We're gonna buy some stuff, not the locket, maybe. Maybe, but we have to make a pit stop at the farm if we do that. No, I'm not gonna buy it. I'm just gonna look at it. We're just gonna like window shop. There's a quest. This could be good for a heart. Is it Nina? No. Oh, I have that though. Yes, 222 gold. Let's do that for sure. Um, I could get a couple more coffees. Definitely some more green tea, because a lot of people do love it. Um, I can grab another muffin. I have lots of cookies. Oh my gosh, I have so many cookies. And then, I know they're closed, but can I still, I think the counter will still be closed though. <gasps> Speaking of events. Speaking of events. Uh, welcome in also friends, welcome in, welcome in. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the kind words and for hanging out. The locket fits so well with Valentine's. It does, it does, but it, well, I'll think about it, I'll think about it. Ah, oh, Sarah, perfect. Why don't you join? Oh no, not the tasting. Not the tasting. This is not gonna go well. This is what this is what Suki was drinking at the tree planting festival. You can have my share. I've had more than enough while preparing this. Thanks for coming here, y'all. Noah has been getting on my case about putting a new item on the menu, so here we are. I came up with three different drink recipes and I'd like you all to taste it. The best drink will be put on the menu. I vote for the red one because it's Valentine's. I can't wait, babe. I'll never say no to free food or drink. I'm here to give support in whatever way I can. Alright, here we go. Let's start with the red one. Have we done this? Mm, definitely on some one of the saves. <laughs> Was it on this save? I wouldn't be able to tell you. Interesting, interesting. Okay, let's move on to the yellow one. Maybe it's round two of the the science. He's got a new new drink to add to the menu. He's so wrong for this. <laughs> okay, the green drink is the last one and we'll make our votes at the end. I already said I vote for the red one. It does feel like we did this kind of recently, but... Do we really have to drink this, honey? <laughs> Maybe mama should skip drinking this one. Hey, it's not that bad. No, no, I want to support Frank. I'll be fine. I'm sure it tastes better than it looks. All right, I have both Charles and Yuri's numbers on speed dial in case anything happens. Oh, wow, this definitely tastes better than it looks. You were right, buddy. I think this one works, Frank. We could even make a game out of it. Oh yeah, because I was saying there's like actual places that have the game where there's one I went to where you like roll a dice. It's like one of the 20 some sided dice. And then depending on the number, it like corresponds to like a different specialty shot. And it's like super fun. I thought it was gonna taste terrible. Yeah, the, the, the smelly one somehow is the one that tastes the best. I didn't wanna change the menu that mama and dad made. So I purposefully used ingredients I thought would be horrible in drinks. Well, not the sabotage. Sweetheart, you don't have to do that. The tavern is yours now. It hasn't been mine in many years. You're free to do whatever you want with it. This could be a good refresher in case we get an event with, like, Frank. Oh. Okay, we've got an event with Aaliyah. Why can't you be happy for me? We've got some tea. We haven't got this one on this save, that's for sure. I am happy for you, dear. Look at what you've accomplished, but... I want you to stay close now. You've gone off and had your adventure. You have no idea what goes through my mind when you're flying. Gosh knows where. Now it's time to... Hello. 
I'm just hanging out. And yes, she did tell me before she told you. Aaliyah's been like accepted to some kind of astronaut program. And she didn't want to tell her mom. She didn't want her to like worry about her. Uh, oh, hello, Sarah. We didn't see you there. <laughs> the way she acts so shocked. <laughs> like it's just... It's a little silly. <laughs> Mama was just listing all the reasons I shouldn't become an astronaut. That's not what I said, Aaliyah. You might as well have. You want me to stay on Coral Island and settle down, give you some grandkids, but that's not what I want, Mama. Oh, Sarah the Farmer is always snooping. Always snooping. What do you think, Sarah? Isn't flying airplanes in the military dangerous enough? Does she really need to go into space? I mean, listen, it does sound dangerous and I do like to be on the ground, but I shouldn't be the one answering that, so Aaliyah should answer that, not me. Exactly. Thank you, Sarah. I knew you were solid. After all, Aaliyah told you about this astronaut business before she told her own family. E. That's a little... That's a little tough. That's because I knew you would do this. First, you tried to talk me out of joining the military, and now, the astronaut program. Why won't you let me live my own life? I mean, like, it's fair from both perspectives, right? When you're really passionate about something, you want to go for something, you don't want someone, like your parents, being like, oh, don't do that, don't follow your dreams. But at the same time, it's, like, fair that Betty's, like, concerned about her, that she's picking these, like, more dangerous fields to work in. So, I see both sides of it for sure. Plus, we love Betty, so. <laughs> I lost my husband, and now my family is scattering to all corners of the earth. I just want to give Betty a hug. Hugs for Betty, hugs for Betty. We love you, Betty. I'll still be here. I know I'm not your daughter, but... Okay, so we came here to buy treats, and we ended up... Yeah, they're closed, okay. But we have to go in the buildings. Because there could be events, right? Just like that. That was a perfect example. Um, and... Oh, it's spring, so I think we can get... I hope we can get coconuts again. Nina, get back here. Nina, hi! Hey! I got you some yogurt. I got you some yogurt this time. I thought you liked the flowers, but then we didn't get a heart at the end of the day. So we're gonna try the yogurt. See, she's calling me my love. You can't tell me she doesn't like me. Living at the beach is hard to beat. Falling asleep with my windows open is simply the best. The sound of the ocean is so relaxing. Lily is a dear friend. She stays at the villa when I'm away. If you want to win brownie points with her, give her Amarais. I love that. Don't tell her I told you that. Take the credit. Oh, wait, she's so nice. Okay, I'm obsessed with Nina, you guys. You know this already. But she's like, she's like, I'm going to give you a little secret if you want to become friends with Lily. But don't tell her. Just take the credit yourself. Ah, I love that. I love that because there's so many, I feel like so many, and I get it. I feel like so many people just want credit for a lot of things, right? So when people are like, no, don't, I don't need credit. I'm just trying to help. I love that. I love that quality in a person. A humble queen. All right. Have a great day. Have the best day. Well, don't have the best day because hopefully the, the best day will be like the day I give you a locket or the day we get married, but have a great day nonetheless. She is a flirt. Like a certain blacksmith almost? No. You can't compare- no. I don't accept it. Where am I going? I got so flustered I lost track of what I was- oh, I'm going to the beach shack. I want to see if they have coconuts. Um, you cannot compare Nina to Pablo. I denied. Denied. Sarah trying to get hearts with Nina. Nina, get back here. <laughs> well, she just walks so fast. She's always off somewhere. <laughs> She's always running off somewhere. I gotta get her attention somehow. Uh, let's, yes. Coconuts for everyone, unless I have something better in my pocket. We do have some leftover stuff. This one's for Karen. But the rest is for anyone else. We don't need that. Okay. Oh! 
let's start. So we, we go in order. Let's start by the lighthouse and work our way back. I'm not gonna fire you. <laughs> Nina's Cardio Master Ultra Speed Walking Course. I mean, I love a good speed walk. Doesn't all this new life make you feel inspired, Zara? The birth of new creatures also means the birth of new ideas. Making peace with myself was the hardest thing I've ever done. Now I take every day as it comes with an extra dose of gratitude. I'm trying to also see if we can get some new dialogue, you guys. Oh, an event? <gasps> Suki and Lily. Ooh, this is new. If only there was poo to gift Karen. Alyssa, exactly. That's why I have the compost. It's it's basically poo. <laughs> it's basically poo. Okay. I've considered giving Karen a man face stink bug. Wait, I love that gift selection. That's like... That's amazing. Okay. Suki says, I finally get some time off for myself. It's been such a hectic season for me. Can't be easy running a... Yes. Is that? That's Alice. She seems distraught. Uh-oh. Oh no. If there's if they put me in the middle of more sibling drama, I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself. Oh, she's really running. Alice is running. <gasps> the school called. Valentina's sick. Should I pick her up? Oh, Suki finally gets a day to to chill, right? And then nope. Oh, what? No, let me take her. Poor baby. Aww. It wasn't the pumpkin pie, Suki, before you get any ideas. It wasn't the pumpkin pie. <laughs> Aww, my poor empanada. Oh, that's so cute. I love empanadas, too. Now I kind of want one. Uh, you threw up quite a bit, and Dr. Yuri said some soup would be good for your tummy. Oh, wait, this is... Look at the little teddy bear tea party over here. I love, I feel like this is one of the first events I've got that's like brand new to me. I never got an early access at all. Like, I want Nana's corn soup, mommy. Oh, she's so sad. All right, let me make some for you. Wait, this is many, this has many moments. It's like a series, a series of events. Oh my gosh, poor Valentina. It tastes yuck, mom. I want Nana's corn soup. I don't want this one. I don't think we can get it in time, sweetie. We don't live with Nana anymore. Aww. Oh, not the little eyes. I miss living with Nana. Oh. I wonder, Nana, on whose side of the family? I'm curious. I wonder if they mentioned that or we find out later, maybe. Aww. I wonder where that's gonna head. That's definitely, they're they're sharing some info. That's for sure. Clean up the beach here. Not a stink-faced man bug. <laughs> corn soup sounds amazing. I don't know if I've ever had corn soup. I've had a lot of different kinds of soup. I don't think I've ever had corn soup. I do want an empanada, though. I also really want to catch one of those, but I don't have my bug net with me. Oh, I need to get the chard for Wataru, too. Wataru's always talking to his plants, even if he's not with them. <laughs> I feel like it's Antonio's side. I kind of feel like that, too, because... Um, the way Suki kind of reacted was kind of like, ugh, like... It's just, it is the way it is, right? Love corn soup. I made corn chowder last week. Does that count? I mean, I've never had corn soup, so I don't know if it counts or not. I feel like it does. If there's corn in it and it's soup, I think it counts. <laughs> That's what I say. That was so interesting how that event, like, triggered at the beach and then, and then went into the inn. It was, like, multiple settings. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. The, the father-son dynamic. Hey, Sarah, want to do some fishing with us? Ugh. No. 
I don't. <laughs> I don't, because I feel like I'm. This is not. This is not going to go well if it's. I forget where we are in this saga with the the father son. Show us what you got. Okay, let's just keep it peaceful, please. You two are pros at this. You're gonna put me to shame. Fishing is hard. I don't think I like. Well, don't. I'm not gonna say I don't like fishing. It's like Wataru's life. Plus, I like it. Now you're good. Anyone can learn to fish. Even Waku here manages to catch some now and then. Oh no! It's... <sighs> um, thanks. Not the backhanded compliment. You should have seen him back on the pithy mermaid as a boy, fumbling around with his line. He was more likely to hook the back of his shirt than a fish. Honestly, like, it's funny, but, like, poor Waku. <laughs> and the boy was no better with the nets. He doesn't have the muscles for it. Okay, now that's where we cross the line. Do not insult his physique, Wataru. That could be such a sensitive topic. Okay, I guess I have to try corn soup, you guys. I have some empanadas in the freezer I could make. I really want empanadas now. Making dinner right now? Wait, you guys are gonna give me cravings. It's gonna be a soup day. Or an empanada day. Or both. Uh, Coconut chicken soup. That sounds really good. I really need to pick this game back up. I've been on a paleo kick, but watching this now makes me miss it. Wait, we're so samesies because I've been on a paleo kick too. Um, cause well, the, la the last update for it was just so good, right? I've been loving it, but it's like, I gotta play Coral Island. And now that I'm playing it, I'm like, oh, I've missed it. I totally feel that. His cousin Haruka now, she's a tough build. A banker in Pokio work day and night. Poor Waku, Wataru is like always complimenting like everyone else except for his own son. Aye, nice. Lucky he decided to become an astronomer because he never would have been able to make a living with those small fish he catches. He probably won't stand family businesses like Minato, my brother's daughter. Good girl. That one. Factory is a success. Enough. Yeah, I'm with you, Waku. Let's end this. And I will leave. Sarah, we will see ourselves out. We will just go this way. I didn't become an astronomer because I'm bad at fishing. I followed my passion just like you did when you bought the Pithy Mermaid and started your fishing business. I learned that from you to do what I loved. Let's go, Waku. Follow your heart. What? No, let me finish. I'm tired of you putting me down. If you're disappointed in me, fine, but keep it to yourself. No one wants to hear it. I don't want to hear it. All right, boy, don't sulk off like that. I'm not sulking. I'm standing up for myself, finally. Should have done it a long time ago. Oh, and he's running. He's running. And by the way, you taught me everything I know about fishing, Dad. So if I'm bad at it, whose fault is that? Yeah, you tell him. <laughs> My boyfriend's physique is fine, right? <laughs> like, excuse me, what'd you say about him? Huh. Uh, you should not go after him. Definitely give him space. I don't think he's coming back, Wataru. Yeah, more fish for us then. Mm. It's tough. It's tough. I'm glad Waku uh, stood up for himself, though. It's important. Yeah, you tell him, Waku. You tell him. Wataru wants his son to become a fisherman and take over his business, but this is Wataru's skill at fishing at every opportunity. Yep, yeah, basically. Basically. Make it make sense. <laughs> no events in here, so we'll have to check. I don't even think anyone's here at all. I feel like the island needs a family therapist. Oh, that's us. We're just not good at it. <laughs> we came to the island. Uh, therapist is part of our resident description. They couldn't have had a therapist in the game because if they did, then a lot of these events wouldn't be happening in front of us, right? They'd be happening behind the scenes. So it wouldn't fit. <laughs> It wouldn't fit the island. 
And I'm here. Oh, I'm here to get charred for for Wataru. Interestingly, we're gonna be completing a quest for him. Don't think I'm qualified. Well, even if we are as people, oh, our farmers are definitely not. <laughs> they're definitely not. They're snooping around, they're... I don't even know what they're doing half the time. I love this. It's such a small detail, but I'm obsessed. Having the pet on the map. Because they wander around, you can keep track of them, that's so cute. I hope eventually, I think they should be able to follow us around the island eventually. It's kind of what they... Like, they didn't say that exactly early on in, in development, but they definitely said the pet would do more than just hang around the farm, so... Can't wait to see what they choose to do with that. Okay, let's complete this quest. And then... I'm just gonna pop into the lighthouse. I don't think a scene would trigger in here, but you never know. I still want to unlock this. There could be an event with that area, that'd be cool. Just snooping up here. My little secret pier. Okay. More events, more events. Oh my gosh, Alice was in there. I didn't even see her. So there was nothing in the beach shack. We went into the inn. We've come to the side of the beach. We can go across the beach and see if there's anything else. Or the pier. Kimberly, thank you for the sub. Welcome me. The upper part of the lighthouse looks dangerous. It does. It looks like a little bit broken down. Looks like you'd maybe fall through the the flooring. Okay, do I have more? Oh, I do have another portion of the pasta that I can give Cha M. One thing I wish this game had is a hold the sprint command like Paleo instead of quick dash. Uh, you can turn it on um, under settings. You can put it so it's toggle the sprint like I'm sprinting right now. But you can also jog. Um, and instead of holding, you can have it to toggle. It's just under the, uh, the settings. Right here, movement type. So you can put it to sprint and then your, your character will default sprint. Jogging, jogging through the canyon where we were yesterday will be amazing in the future, don't you think, Sarah? Yeah, we are so incompatible. <laughs> I feel like there's, I don't know if I have anything in common with Jam. Like, at all. Might stop by the beach shack later to pick up some coconuts. I mean, I like pasta. I'm kind of in the mood for one. Oh, should I have given you one? I gave you, I have coconuts. You can't dive from here. You gotta go there. Go to the end and go south. You can dive there. I know. Do you go- do you dive? I've never seen you in the ocean before. She- she knows nothing about me. She doesn't know I'm diving, like, all the time. Beer battered fish and fries or smashed potatoes? Oh, potatoes. We love potatoes. We love potatoes. I'm gonna give Macy flowers. It'd be nice to see other NPCs diving, right? I think that'd be cool. Or at least like Surya. At least some of the ones who like would be diving. The sand can be scorching on bare feet. Fun fact, Steven's a male lobster, I'm pretty sure. Kenny and I did a little check. Steven's got pointy, got a pointy first pair of swimmerettes, so he's a male. Female lobsters sport thin, feathery ones. Wait, I had no idea. This is an educational stream, officially. Welcome in, welcome in. We are on a little gifting spree. And we're also learning facts. Oh, Lily's here. We should go talk to Lily.
You, you do learn something new every day. I love it when you can learn like real things in games too, like real facts. It's fun. Theo gets stomach aches every time he drinks milk, he hates it. Yeah, he still eats cheese. <laughs> Silly man, why is this like so relatable? <gasps> Pufferfish is moving its office here to buy property. I hope nobody's selling. I'd hate to see Coral Island become an oil drilling spot. Interesting, she's talking about pufferfish. Okay. And I don't have, I don't have what Lily loves with me. So Lily will get a coconut. Uh, hello, Louise. Thank you for the sub. Welcome in. Macy oceanography. Yes, I love it. I'm also curious, like, what Lily's up to. Oh my gosh, she's cleaning? Lily, you know you don't need to clean. This is Nina's house. She's a good friend, though. Maybe she likes cleaning. I don't know. And Yuri's here. Okay, Yuri. Yuri, every time, you guys, every time I'm like, is it, um, it's muffins. I get these two confused every single time it's muffins. I think, yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> is Lily at least paid? Why is Lily cleaning Nina's house? I thought, I thought when I was talking to Nina, she meant like she just like hangs out there and like, you know, house sits. <laughs> but maybe she's, I don't think. I don't think Nina would be like, Lily, you need to clean. I think Nina would be like, oh my gosh, you don't need to clean. But you can if you want. <laughs> I don't know. Wearing my green scrub among the trees, I was basically Mother Nature's sidekick yesterday. Speaking of seasonal stuff, you can get tulips, wasabi, and celery this time of year. Yeah, but if I pick it and I give it to you... Scratch that on the celery. No, it's not celery season. Um, you get mad. Gotta say, not really a big fan of spring. It's just not for me. Probably, you know why that is? It's because your coworker is sneezing the entire season all over you. That's why. That's why it's your least favorite season, because spring is beautiful. It's the only logical explanation. That's not a red flag. Lily is not the maid. No. Lily's a good friend. Who's just hanging out. Just hanging out. Let's go into Sam's. I gotta go into some of these businesses while they're open to see if we have any events. Oh, Ben. I have some of that tea you like. This is the nicest birthday present anybody's ever gotten me. Wait. Birthday? Wait. Oh. Oh, right. They have birthdays. <laughs> well, that was a good coincidence. See if there's anything we can buy here actually for gifting. Yeah, that works out perfectly, right? No, there's nothing here. Sam, I should give you something. I just want to get to the blacksmiths to look at the locket before they're closed. This is great. Thanks. You're welcome. Bye. I got things to do. Sorry, Sam. Um. Yeah, so we need to give Aaliyah a gift then. I thought I already gave- I did not give Aaliyah a gift. Muffins. Also for you. Happy birthday to me, huh? Thank you so much for this, Sarah. I'll treasure it. Oh, yes. Treasure it. Keep it forever. <laughs> I think it's so funny when they say certain things about certain gifts. Treasure every bite. Look at all the animals, they're so cute. Okay, all the businesses. Let's just pop in. Just in case, before they close. Okay, we're doing quick pop-ins, quick pop-ins. Uh, I don't think they're open, they're not. I don't think we could probably get an event in that. Okay, uh, the other businesses would be 
They're closed. Clinic's open. The, the house is closed at 9 p.m., so we still have time for that. Do you have anything I can buy as a gift? Probably not. We just got a fresh stock. I'm glad everything went smoothly yesterday. Oh my gosh, I can't talk to you. Oh my gosh, I can't. Oh my gosh, I can't talk to Charles. This could be actually catastrophic. I just spoke to Charles accidentally. I was trying to interact with the, the till. I was trying to interact with the, 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 the shop. I was trying to buy. Uh, that's probably fine, right? We probably didn't get any points from that. Right? Please tell me someone. I probably didn't get any points from that. Okay, let's go look at the locket and distract ourselves. Raphael! Oh, I gave away my... The sushi. Shop. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's only 1,500? That's such a steal. Well, 1,500 times 28 is likely not. Thank you. <laughs> like, I can't. Um, I definitely can't do mental math. I was trying to figure out what budget I need to leave aside for these lockets. 1,500 times 28. I wonder if they'll have something different for the merfolk, though. That'd be cool. 42,000? 42,000 gold? If you want to give a locket to everyone who's dateable, you need 48,000 gold. Something like that. In case anyone's curious. There's a coconut. It's so cute. I'm not going to buy it, though. Because I've already messed up so many times today, I could accidentally give it to the wrong person for sure. And that would be awful. So I'll, I'll buy it when I'm ready. Like when Nina's ready too, as well. When both of us are ready to like, you know, move to the next. I'm not giving it. No, I'm not giving it to Pablo. I can't give it to Pablo before I give it to Nina. I can't do that. I couldn't live with myself, honestly. I'd have to like restart the whole save. Another customer? What? Another customer coming out of the woodwork these days, aren't you? Raphael, what are you... What are you saying? My work keeps me so busy, I sometimes wish. No, no more wishing. Want something, you work for it. Yeah, go get it. Go chase your dreams. Hey, Luke. Did you name your tree? Oh my gosh, Luke. Wait, I kind of like this side of Luke. I named mine Bark Twain. I kind of like this Luke. A slip and falter, give it to Walter. No. Oh my gosh. I mean, we could for science to see like how they reject it, but that would be so embarrassing. For science, it'd have to be just someone else who's like a townie. Luke is a secret punster. Yeah, I kind of love it. Naming the tree Bark Twain. I see you, I see you. Okay, what am I giving you? I'm giving you, I don't have any more soup. The weather's nice today. I should do something, like go to the beach. Feels like a waste otherwise. Or you can watch TV, like you're doing right now. But I won't. Well, technically speaking, it's more like I can't. I've got work piled up that'll keep me busy for at least the next two or three days, you see. Oh, wow. Yeah, it doesn't add up, Luke. You're watching TV. One of the coolest things I saw at the Consumer Electronics Expo has to be self-driving cars. When they were first introduced, I thought it was groundbreaking. Aren't you fancy? That's cool. Yeah, has he, exactly. He's like sitting and watching TV. It's so funny. Okay, let's head out. No, you don't get red hearts with Walter. Thank goodness. She's hanging out with the enemy. She's hanging out with the enemy chat. Okay. 
time being. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay. Everyone brace yourselves. Everyone brace yourselves. There could be feels. <gasps> oh my gosh. I'm going to cry already. Okay. I'm already going to cry. Look at the flowers. You can do this, Sarah. You can do this. Oh my gosh. I have some big news, Daddy. I just got back from Pokio. I am actively fanning my face, by the way. <laughs> I had an interview with the folks who decide which, which pilots get to move on to astronaut training. And... And... I don't know. I won't hear back for a while. They still have other people to interview before they make a final decision. I'm nervous, Dad. That was so hard to get through, just so you guys know. I want to just sob at the first, the first sentence. <laughs> oh, I love that she, I love that she still has that relationship though, right? That's so sweet. Hey, Mark. I'm a little distracted right now. Here's uh, some cocoa. Yeah, that's me. I I literally like that was I don't know why that one hit me so hard. It wasn't anything directly like in the dialogue that was super like sad, but it's just the whole the whole vibe. Sobbing. Absolutely absolutely wasted. Yep. Crying. I hope she gets into the program too, but it'll be interesting to see. Summer's almost here. Might need to change up my gear. I don't go to the cavern. I don't have any reason to since I don't mine or collect artifacts. Okay, so we still, we're getting nowhere with Mark, you guys. But look who's gonna put a smile on our faces. I was talking about Taco. We'll get back to Taco in a minute. <laughs> this is my favorite time to be out here, you know? Okay, you guys, we have gifted Walter lots of stuff. Let's hope that we get some info from this one. So quiet and peaceful. I could stare at this view forever. I could stare at you forever. Aw, that was nice. Aw, sweetie. But... <laughs> And there it is. But these grapes are pretty nice too. She's so unimpressed. Taco's like running off to chase a butterfly. You're a real charmer. Taco, you get him. That's why you love me. It is. Speaking of a love, did you clean out the attic like I asked? You know, you're quite the charmer yourself. Taco and I went through it this morning, and I donated pretty much everything. It's amazing how much junk we've collected over the years. Chat, why do I feel like this is going to take a turn for the worst here in a moment? <laughs> why do I feel like this is not going to go so well? We have space for an amazing home theater up there now. Big screen TV, surround sound. He was getting nervous. I see some of you getting nervous. <laughs> me too me too or that art gallery we were talking about sure Walter's like no I want the TV or that did you take out everything that was up there yup Took it all down to the recycling center. The attic is clean as a whistle. He's so proud of himself. But not the box, right? The one with all my old modeling pictures? That was up there? Uh -oh. Of course it was up there, Walter. Out of the way, where no one would ever see it. Wait. Old modeling photos that no one would ever see. <gasps> How scandalous. 
Oh. Uh-oh. Now they're now they're flying through the air. They're they're blowing in the wind at the recycling center. They're all over the island. They're scattered. They're on the beach. They're at the hot springs. The wind just took them up and whew, everywhere. Oh no, Walter. Didn't you look through what you were giving away? Of course I did. I mean, mostly. After a while, you kind of get into a rhythm. A rhythm? So you're telling me my private modeling photos are at the recycling center? Oh, no. In the donations bin? <gasps> oh, no. I'm saying it's possible. I have to go. Taco just sitting here the whole time, like, not a care in the world. To be fair, she did ask him to clean out the attic. I do wonder, though, I do wonder if they communicated about the box ahead of time. Like, if later on she was like, but you didn't throw out that one box, right? And he's like, oh, what box? Then it's unfair, but if, if ahead of time she was like, Walter, can you please clean out the attic and please make sure that that one box with really important stuff that I don't want anyone to see is accounted for and we do X with it. If she communicated that, then he's absolutely in the wrong for like breezing past it. But if she didn't communicate it, then it's kind of like on both of their, their ends, right? Maybe we got lucky. Maybe Taco ate them. Okay, let's get some tacos in the chat for that. Let's get some tacos in the chat. He's just minding his business. Did you eat them, Taco? I don't think Taco ate them, Walter. I, I don't think so. Sorry to say. <laughs> Relationship? Communication? Wow, what a concept. Communication. Look at our, our best boy, Taco. Our best boy, Taco. He seems happy. Taco's like always happy. You tell Taco he's very fluffy. That's true. It's very true. Walter is the epitome of weaponized incompetence. Yeah. For sure. For sure, for sure. Well, that was not what I was expecting over here. I was just coming to be like, Nina, why are... Well, to be fair, she's not talking with Walter. She's talking with Bree. Why do I feel the need to defend Walter? Because if, because if, like I said, she didn't mention anything about the box and just assumed he would, like, know that that box needed to be safeguarded, then it's her responsibility, like, it, it falls back on Brie for not communicating that to him, right? So, it just depends. We don't get that context. We don't get that context. He was also pr probably really excited to, like, turn it into a theater, and she's like, how about an art gallery? And he's like, but I want a TV. I feel like they have enough rooms to do both, do they not? Turning that- okay, and this is why it's hard to defend Walter, right? <laughs> Turning that festival land into an all-inclusive resort? Now that's a bright idea. Pure genius, am I right? An all-inclusive resort, Walter? We mostly sell our wine abroad to restaurants and hotels. Boutique hotels mostly very exclusive. What can I say? It's who we are. Exclusivity is part of our brand. When Bree and I first started the vineyard, uh, I didn't expect much out of it. Just a little hobby to keep Bree busy. But now? I hope you agree with me on this. I believe our beverages have become a part of Coral Island's identity. The wine especially is its signature drink. And that's why I have a hard time. And there went the impulse to defend him, right? I want to talk to Nina again, but we've already exhausted the dialogue for today. I do want to see if I can talk to Bree and see if she has anything to say. Yeah, to keep Brie busy. To keep Brie busy. I just started this silly little vineyard to keep Brie busy. It's kind of like that vibe, right? It's like, dude. Okay. Based on what we know of Walter, I can guarantee that Brie told him about the box multiple times while asking him to clean the attic. I feel like I don't know. I feel like she must have if it was that important. If it was that big of a deal, right? I mean, things like do slip your mind, and we don't know for sure, but. It is true, based off of what we know about Walter. Uh, and more. More. More with these two. <laughs> and this is- okay, and we were talking about Randy earlier, so this is good. Uh, that is wild. That never happened to us, thankfully. Did he not look in any of the boxes? Also, 
that's the thing too is if you're cleaning something out you should probably like go through the different boxes that are there right and just see what's in them to make sure you're not throwing out something important so uh well there's that one time when your purse almost got snatched in pokio remember oh wow yes that was a scary moment we were just done with dinner and on the way to the car what was it, hun? Must have been my birthday, I think, because it was a pretty cold evening. I remember holding my coat like this, and there was a very fast person on a motorbike, and just bam. Oh. The attempt failed. I was fine. You could have fallen. Oh, dear. You could have fallen? Yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> that was my fear, too. I mean, okay, it does. Okay, okay. We don't want to fall. I get it. We don't want to fall. And falls are, you take them a lot harder when you get older. I know. I thought they'd be more worried about, I don't know, something else for some reason. Uh, thankfully, I wasn't harmed at all. Oh boy. Okay, also, Walter is always flushed. Right? He's always blushing. But he's not blushing. Oh boy, the city can be wild sometimes. Part of why we moved here, actually. It's not a place to raise a family. It's the fresh air for me. I don't see a problem raising Luke in the city. I was raised in a big city myself. I had my fun. The way he looked over? Did you see that subtle, like, look over? A light sunburn from always sitting outside? Maybe. High blood pressure? Maybe. Of course, dear. Anyway, I remember telling Randy. Oh, we're getting a phone call. We're getting a phone call. He's getting a page. <laughs> Why do I feel like Walter would still get, like, pages? <laughs> uh, oh, apologies, everyone. I forgot that I have to get going. I have to make a call in ten minutes. A pro bono for my friend. Oh, sure. It's late. We should probably... Oh, no, no. Oh, no. Please don't leave. Take your time. Enjoy the meal. I'm sure Bree's prepared an amazing dessert. Don't let me ruin the dinner. Excuse me, ladies. Randy. This is so accurate, the dialogue. Now, where were we? Like, it just, it, it communicates the total vibe of their, like, attitude, for sure. All right. He's going off on a little pro bono case. He's just sampling all the wine. Mm-hmm. Chatting with Emily made the tree planting event even better yesterday. She's such a sweetheart, that one. Have you eaten, Sarah? Would you like some tea or coffee? What a good host. In summer, I usually- <laughs> What a good host towards someone who just walked into your house with no, like, I didn't even knock. In summer, I usually grill whatever fruit or vegetables I can find and just drizzle honey on them. Very cool. All right. So, more information. More information has been collected. Now, I did not go to the Woodlands area. We're snooping, we're snooping. Maybe he just likes wearing makeup? Maybe. He could just share with Bree then. Oh my gosh, Kenny. <laughs> oh yeah, I was supposed to get kombucha for Kenny. Um... Every time, you guys, every time. One of my favorite parts about yesterday was the boat ride. Felt like I was in my childhood adventures all over again. I love how the characters, I need to talk to them more on the days before and after festivals because they have so much to share and it's hard to actually get around to talk to everyone on those days. Can you believe spring's almost over? It really flew by, didn't it? It's been great spending so much time outdoors. I like summer too, but spring's my favorite season. 
I think bamboo shoots only grow during spring, which means we've got less than a week to gather them. Oh yeah, we should. Oh, I don't have that area open though. But sometimes you can get them like just around here. Not too often though. Let's go to the hot springs. Kenny is here. So, should say hi while we're here. So everyone brace yourselves, okay? It's important. You know, I always have to give a warning before we talk to Kenny. Um, I guess I can't give him... Oh, I can. I just can't scroll through my toolbar for some reason. I love Kenny. Kenny's great. You just have to have the warning before we, you know. That's all. If you're like... Just make sure you don't have any, like, water in your mouth or something. Okay, no, we can't gift in here. Have you planted any spring flowers, Sarah? Make sure your animals don't snack on them. Had a bit of a morning. We had to nurse an injured cow. Oh, no. She's fighting, bless her. I think she'll pull through. Has that ever happened at your farm? Oh, my gosh, no. I didn't know that could happen. My cows have never been injured. Is this game still E for everyone? TBH, when I saw it was E for everyone, when it got its rating, I was like, hmm, okay, sure. The thing is a lot of it can like, <laughs> I was gonna say a lot of it can go over your head, but that can't. If it's a visual, it can't go over your head, but. A lot of the dialogue, it's like up for interpretation, right? And a lot of it would go over your head. But I thought maybe it was going to be like T for teen. How? <laughs> it's itsy for everyone, you guys. It's all about how you... The, the spin you put on it. I think. I don't know. <laughs> I, w I was genuinely surprised though. I was like, oh, okay, sure. We're still looking for cutscenes, by the way. Kenny and Mark are very visual. I got a lot of confidence. I have my VIP outfit. I haven't bought that yet. I think that's the only thing from here I haven't got. Wait, that must have unlocked with... That must have unlocked maybe with the hearts? I don't know. The heart achievement? That's the only new one I've unlocked. Exactly, it's, it is, it, that's it. You see the same thing at the beach, pool, or water parks. Yeah, so it's exactly, it's the spin you put on it. It's the, your, your interpretation. It's in the eye of the beholder. You know? So that's what I'm saying. It can still be rated E for everyone. That goes for the dialogue, that goes for the art. I guess uh, TBD on the events. I haven't seen them all yet. I'm looking for them today, though. My gosh, I'm looking. I'm roaming all over this island. I didn't go into the school. They're definitely closed now. I guess I'm not you for everyone. <laughs> I have some self-reflection to do. <laughs> you don't need to be you for everyone. Oh no. I'm 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 walking into yelling. <laughs> you guys are funny. Uh that is it, Lily. I've had enough of this. Oh gosh. What? What's going on? For the past three days, I come home and you're just staring at nothing. Well, she has a sandwich. She's eating her sandwich. I've been trying to get you to talk and nothing. I'm your dad and I'm worried about seeing you like this. Don't shut me out, Lils. Oh, it breaks my heart. No, we can't have to, no, no broken hearts on Valentine's Jim. No broken hearts. Don't cry. Oh my gosh, I can't take it. It's nothing. My chores are done and the fridge is stocked. 
I don't know what to tell you, Dad. I'm fine. I don't want chores, Lils. To hell with the fridge. I want you to talk to me when you have a problem. I'm your dad. We're family. Something is clearly bothering you. Something or many things. I don't know, and you're silent. Cisco, just close your ears and your eyes. I know Lily's your girl. Close your ears and your eyes. We haven't got this one before on. I haven't got any of the hard events on this save, unless we're getting them now. Or unless they've been on stream, so. Ah, uh, stop. We gotta, we gotta get the whole progression for, for the story. Sarah, I hate to put you on the spot like this, but what do you think? Let Lily have some alone time. She'll talk when she's ready. No good can come from keeping your family in the dark, Lily. They might be able to help. It's not my place to comment. Uh, this is... I don't know. This might actually be a gym event. I think let Lily have some time alone. She'll talk when she's ready. Thanks. Because I'm siding with Lily. Being E for everyone in real life is overrated. You can't be E for everyone because... No matter what you do, there's always going to be some people that, you know, don't like you. You don't have to be E for everyone. You can be, what's the quote? You can be the ripest, juiciest peach in the entire world and do everything absolutely perfectly. And there'll still be people that don't love you. That's okay. So you don't got to be E for everyone. You can never be. I don't want to talk about it, dad. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a deadline to meet. The drama. Oh my gosh, another event? This is part two? Hey dad, have you seen that old lore with the... Theo, I've been waiting for you to come down. There's something I wish to share. Theo? Oh gosh. <laughs> We're just inserting ourselves into all the family drama. I don't want to talk about it, dad. I'm just thinking about Cisco a lot lately, right? That's, what, that's what's going on with Lily. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, with you. Did you ruin another pair of my headphones, Theo? Another one? Oh, uh, about that. They're on my bed, dripping wet. Yeah. Yeah, I thought you got the waterproof kind. Water resistant. You can spill a little water on them, but you can't go diving with them. Well, Noah recorded my show at the tavern the other night, and I was listening to it while I was working. I accidentally dropped my pole in the water and immediately dived in to get it. I totally forgot I was still wearing the headphones. Are... are you crazy? Dad! Don't you have 16 more pairs of headphones in your room? I hardly think that's the point. <laughs> Of course it's not, but you can make do for now, can't you? I was just telling Theo I have some very exciting news to share. But I... Wait, what? Exciting news? You never have exciting news! You never have any news at all! The way he just put them back like she wouldn't notice. Yeah, he just left them on the bed like she won't notice they're dripping wet, right? Exactly. And that, my dear children, is what my news is about. I've decided I've been in a rut. You... you have? Yes. I've been in a rut for five years, three months, and ten days, and it's time for a change. That's wonderful. Yeah, Dad, that's really great. Awesome news. Excellent. I thought you'd be pleased. Well, spill the beans. What are you going to do next? I'm already doing it. What? Eating Odie bits for breakfast? That's the same cereal you've been eating since the dawn of time. Maybe so, but today I'm having almond milk. There it is. <laughs> ah. Living on the edge, taking life by the horns, never knowing what could happen next. Let us know when you're being serious, okay? <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Wait, I love Jim. <laughs> you guys, I'm having almond milk. 
living life on the edge. I love Jim. Wow, what a journey we just went on. The kids were so unimpressed. They're like, this is not the first time he's done this. Love that. So endearing. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Oops, as I run into a wall. Um, I'm trying to think which houses I haven't been in before it's 9 p.m. We didn't go in the mansion. Good to see there is nothing interesting going on here. An absolute wild ride of cutscenes, right? We got so many today. I don't even know how many we got. A lot. At least five. Just checking the houses, checking the residences. Just barging in. One second, Zara. Close your eyes for a second. I'm just seeing if... No, nothing. Okay. I'm leaving. I don't want her to see me just let myself into her boat. Now it is night. They are open now. Don't talk to Charles. Don't talk to Charles. Don't talk to Charles. Oh, I don't think we gave anything to Joko today. We should do that. I think this place should have a trivia night, don't you? Uh, don't you? There are simple craft projects you can make yourself to improve your farm. I really gotta get over, like, the early days with some of these characters. <laughs> when it's like, they're still giving me tutorials. Like, yeah, I know I don't give you any gifts. Dad joke energy. Okay, we have, like, 50 minutes. Oh, I didn't even go... Well, I didn't go to their house. We didn't re still didn't really go up here. Both times I got distracted. It's far though. Let me see if I can teleport. Only have 40 minutes just to check. Oh, they're closed. Oh, it's 8. It's 8 p.m. Never mind. We can't go in houses now. I think some of them are 9 p.m. Maybe not anymore. Let me try. No, they're closed at 8. Okay, well, let's go to the community center because they're open 24 hours. There could be an event there. Lots of characters hang out there. But it is nighttime, so they could all just be sleeping. There is an event. We have an event. This is a Raj event. Thanks for coming with me to my first Chamber of Commerce meeting, Sarah. So in the last event, I told them that they should join the Chamber of Com Commerce. Or I recommended like it sounded like a good idea. Uh, so that's where we're at now. I don't know why, but I'm so nervous. I sell coffee to these people every day, but I'm worried they'll see through me. They'll know I'm not a real business owner like they are. You're just as legit as they are. I could say, let's bounce. Imagine, I should, I kind of want to say that next time if I ever get this again. Uh, if you say so. Good evening, let's get this meeting started. For our first order of business, I'd like to welcome the newest member of the Starlet Town Chamber of Commerce, Raj of Raj's Coffee Corner. Uh, hi everyone. Raj, why don't you come up to the podium and tell us a bit about yourself and your goals? Go on. Raj is nervous. I would be too. But you got this. Hi everyone, I know a lot of you already. I have this, um, a little coffee stand outside Fish and Sips. Raj's Coffee! It's a wonderful addition to our business district. I get my caffeine fixed there every morning. Thanks, Connor. I work hard and I'm trying to make the coffee stand a success, but I'm having trouble growing my business. Do any of you have pointers for me? Hmm, this sounds worthy of discussion. The floor is open for anyone who wants to speak. Antonio says, I'll tell you what's worked for my clothing store, White Flamingo. You have to spend money to make money. It's the only way to grow. Oh, but what if I don't have a lot of money to spend? Doesn't matter. Take out a loan if you have to. If you're afraid to take risks, you'll never succeed. Yeah, go into debt. Listen to Antonio. Now, I have to disagree with you there, Antonio. Sometimes we just have to be creative with what we've got. Take the beach shack, for example. The way I get people to keep coming back is by getting creative with the menu. 
invest, be creative. Can you give us an example, Sunny? Each season, we offer a new fish special. Pan-fried bluegill in the summer, lime-roasted arapaima in the fall, baked lobster tail in the spring. You want to surprise your customers, Raj. Give them something to look forward to with each visit. <laughs> Risks, there's the bank, rob it. Oh, no. Yeah, we pulled a bank heist in Dinkum on Sunday. If you haven't seen the replay, definitely check that out. <laughs> it was uh, quite alarming. Well, we actually didn't quite finish with the heist. We were just planning it. Surprise your customers, baked lobster tail. No, that's not the no, not the baked lo not the baked lobster tail. I like how that's what they took away from it was the baked lobster tail. I think you're on the right track, Sunny, but some customers are afraid to try new things. You have to ease them into it. That's why I like giving out free samples at the taco truck. Let people try before they buy. If they like it, they'll be back. We do that at Socket. We let customers try out any gadget they want. Nine times out of ten, they end up buying something. But I don't sell gadgets, I sell coffee. Hmm, how about free Wi-Fi then? Let them play with their gadgets while they're drinking your coffee. These are terrific ideas. Raj, does this give you enough to go on? We could do a samples. We could do... Um, I agree with like little bits and pieces of what everyone said. I think I said this last time because it's true. Like, I agree like to invest, get creative. Maybe samples. It depends, I guess. If it's in the budget. Uh, now on to our next order of business. I got one. What should I do to customers who keep asking for discounts? <laughs> I don't do that. Sam's always... Sam is always saying I don't offer discounts. And I've never asked. I think my farmer keeps <laughs> asking. Uh, what you spend the money on is important. A general spend money to make money is not helpful. Yeah, so true. It's all about smart spending. Okay, well, that was fun. They could do coffee samples. As long as it's not like... If it's so much that then they don't even get their coffee at all, then that's not helpful. Baking samples. Ooh, like little bits of... Like, because they have like the muffins and stuff. They could have like a muffin that they cut up into like little pieces and they give like that out. Like a little sample of the baked goods with their purchase okay let's see if we gained any more hearts i think i i didn't really i don't know if i would have gained another heart we can see if we gained a heart with nina if not she is so plain hard to get let's see merit points okay oh my gosh we did get hearts we did get hearts oh yes i would have got hearts because we gave out birthday gifts two hearts with Aaliyah. Antonio, Ben, Cha'em. No. No, God, please. Are you no, telling me no. I didn't get? No. I'm gonna cry. What does she want from me, chat? What does she want from me? <laughs> what does she want from me? I gave her flowers. I gave her yogurt. I talked to her both days. I tried to get to know her best friend too and i don't know it skips from c to w there are no letters in between honestly like it's so funny i got hearts with i mean i don't mind yuri i don't mind ben these are just characters like i don't mind <laughs> Thank you for the hearts. You know what? Stay tuned, you guys. Stay tuned because I am not done with Nina. I am going to get that that eighth heart with her. How did I not get the eighth heart? No, she's falling down even further. No, no, I should have never given a birthday gift to Aaliyah. <sighs> Maybe next year on <laughs> maybe next year's Valentine's. Maybe I need to see a certain cutscene with Nina to advance the relationship. I just haven't stumbled upon it yet. She's at Charles level. This is a crisis. This is a crisis. This is a Valentine's crisis, you guys. She's fallen so far behind. I know most of it is because of the alphabet, but some of it isn't. How do I have how? 
Please somebody tell me how I have eight hearts with Aaliyah. I like never talk to Aaliyah. Do I? I feel like I never talk to Aaliyah. I know part of it was the two hearts. Why did I, but why did I get two hearts for the birthday gift with Aaliyah? But I didn't get two hearts for the birthday gift. Oh, because I gave a loved item. Oh, I made so many mistakes. I gave a loved item, so I got two hearts with Aaliyah. I gave a liked item, so I got one with Ben. She really loves muffins, yeah. All right, well, that's okay. Stay tuned. Nina, don't worry. I'm not giving lockets to anyone until I get you to eight hearts. My gosh, you guys. Stairway, we have a problem. Yeah, it's Stairway's fault. It's Stairway's fault. Somehow. Oh my gosh, I just was like coming outside. Oh, we got a flyer from Raj. Raj, I'm... Thank you. I'm in crisis right now. I'm trying to hang out with my chat before I say goodbye. But look, premium blend dragon coffee. I love that. I should bring my pet dragon to go get that coffee. That sounds fun. That sounds fun, right? It's a new week. Run and give her a gift. See if it gets to eight hearts. I'll have to do it next time, you guys. I'm going to wrap the stream here. We, you know what though, you guys, we made so many friends. We gained so many hearts with so many characters. We unlocked so many cutscenes. We still have so much in store for us with the story arcs for all the characters. So I'm really excited to continue on this. Maybe we'll have like a whole dedicated Nina stream, okay? We'll just dedicate the whole thing to her. Maybe that'll be enough. I think that'll be enough. I think then she'll be like, okay, she really loves me. She dedicated a whole stream to me. Maybe that's what we'll do. But let me pull up my lovely member thanks. You guys are the absolute best. Thank you so much for hanging out today. Thank you so much for all the love, all the hype. Uh, thank you to Kelly. Thank you to Cisco. Thank you, Alyssa. And thank you, Tansy, for modding today. I appreciate you all very much. I love all the hearts. Yeah, put all the hearts in the chat for everyone. You guys, the mods, all the love. Uh, I love seeing all those hearts. Yeah, stream of Nina, that'll work. I think that's the foolproof plan. Uh, thank you so much, you guys, for all the gifted memberships. If you received a gifted membership or if you signed up today and are on our Discord server, please go ahead and connect your accounts, YouTube and Discord. You're gonna get access to a ton more channels and you'll also get your exclusive gemstone roll over there. One little reminder, if you guys are Cozy Quartz members, please make sure you've signed up for your seasonal gift, which is going out um, this season, this month. So you have a couple more days. You have until the 15th to do that. Uh, the link is on Discord and on YouTube. So please, please sign up so I can send you your gift. I think that's the only reminder I have though for today. But thank you guys again so much for all the gifted memberships. Thank you for the super chats. Thank you for the member milestone chats. Thank you for becoming a member and supporting me and the content I make. Uh, it means so much to me and I couldn't do this without all of my channel members. So I love you guys very much and a very special thanks to every single one of you. Uh, next stream is on Friday because today is Thursday. Or today's not Thursday, today's Tuesday. So next stream is on Friday. I'll see you guys then. But if not, I'll see you when I see you. So just make sure your notifications are on. I have a couple more videos coming out this week. Uh, and thank you for all the love on my latest video. If you haven't watched it yet, go check it out because there's definitely, definitely some takes in it. And I definitely am having a lot of fun reading through the comments. So definitely share your thoughts too with me if you have any uh, on Coral Island. But yes, lots of love again, everyone. Enjoy your Valentine's Day. Enjoy your week. Enjoy the season of love. Thank you again for everything. I will see you so soon. And until then, just please take care. Please take care of yourselves. Happy gaming. Happy whatever you're up to. Have lots of fun. Enjoy Coral Island. Enjoy all the games. And I'll see you so soon. Bye, everyone. <laughs>